nice maneuvering. Yo, what's up, guys? How's everybody doing? How is everyone doing tonight? Watch the enemy fire. Crap down three is a tragedy? Nah, man, it's the power of the cloud and Game Pass all in one. Like, this is Xbox's best showcase of their vision for, you know. Gaming. Like, when you buy an Xbox, you can expect quality games like Crackdown 3, guys. That's the power of this game. It sets a gold standard for what to expect. God, Ferrix of the two months, DSP doxed where his wife works on his stream, plus Ryan didn't pull up tonight. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Well, I mean, everybody knew that she worked at, like, a grocery store or something, right? Is that what he said? DSP is just taking either, either, either subscribe, donate, hell, or man. get the fuck out. Have I finally seen the light and realized all Xbox games suck? I mean, they suck now, yeah, but like the 360 games were good. Also, Halo 5 was good, but aside from that, yeah. They're pretty poopy. Some of the platforms have exposed controls. Target them and you will make the platforms rise. Oh shit, was I supposed to go over there? I guess I was already supposed to be over here. No? Oh, okay. So, DJ Aftershock with the two, Crackdown 3, powered by the cloud and the power of four titans. I, I remember Crab Gamer hyping that shit up back in the day. The power of four titans! Just like that, Terra Nova's propaganda Shit's machine is weak. done. Over and out. That would mean every single fucking, broken. like, um, the people are rising, I guess, device that you're streaming off of brighter. to use Excellent the power of the cloud agent. would have to have four Excellent titans, work. and there's no fucking way Microsoft's spending that much money. Dude, they don't even pay for good download speeds on their own fucking store. They are not gonna pay for shit when it comes to the cloud. On their fucking Xbox division. That's just the facts. They ain't gonna pay for shit.
propaganda is based? Amen, dude. I love propaganda. It's a long way down. Enjoy the view. Yeah, I heard about the tire thing Wings with PSP, races but I didn't know he docks where his wife to help you master like, aerial fuck? combat. But let's be real. They're high flying fire. Oh shit, hold on. This is a wingsuit one. This is gonna be rough, man. I've never used the wingsuit. Alright, this is simple. Wing your way through the checkpoints. The faster Holy fuck the better. Bad. Oh, I don't know why, like, every game has to have, like, the worst flight controls ever. Yeah, there ain't no way I'm finished with this shit. <laughs> that is awful, dude. Oh my god. Watch for the checkpoints, Agent, and make sure you hit them all. It's fucking horrible. Fuck? Oh my god, dude, this is horrible. These controls are ass, dude. You don't get enough speed uh, is key here. You don't get enough Fly speed. Like the wind. For a couple of these. Oh my god. Like right here, you lose speed. I think you're designed to. I have no idea. Unless I'm doing something wrong and there's like actually a button to boost. Checkpoint? Check. Right there. Come on, bro. Like, look at that. I don't know, man. <laughs> what the fuck am I supposed to do? It should give you a fucking boost on every single one of them to get you back up to speed. I can't even go through that. Yeah, alright. Fuck that, man. We ain't doing that shit. You can't achieve Hell no. greatness by abandoning that it. That shit is cheap. Remember that. There's gotta be like some way to like speed boost or something that I don't fucking know how to do. Yeah, I have no fucking idea, man. Hell no. Nah. I did not give a fuck enough about this game to do fucking wingsuit shit for like an hour. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Alright, so I need to grab that. So this is the Nova Science Center. Pretty benign name for a monolithic hell tower. Never mind the rumors of twisted human experiments going on inside. Whatever these assholes are doing here, it's worth interrupting. Violently. Alright, well that was fucking easy. These are 
innocent people. They don't deserve this. Climb the science center? Why? What's up there? Oh, I'm gonna die. Yeah, it's really fucking weird. Because it's like, in certain like cases, you know, you can do like almost every single activity on the map in a particular region, but then there's like one or two that are like way too high of a level for you in that same region, like 10 feet away. It makes no fucking sense. Like it would make sense to like segment the map into like difficulty zones, but they don't. They segment like individual activities into difficulties. I guess maybe that's to like force you to explore. I have no idea. Good money says we can use that heavy artillery to blow it open. Oh shit. Terminal needs power before you can override the gun turret. Be a power source nearby. Just gotta find it. You reload and lock and load security units. You've been marked as a threat agent. Enemy reinforcements coming your way. Power in the assets. There's an agency threat nearby. Engage and neutralize. How do you power it? Station location locked. Engage as appropriate. Rip. I have no idea how the fuck you power it. Yeah, the voice does get annoying very quickly. I guess we could go do this. That's like the next story thingy. Of course, I don't have... Oh, I do have one semi-close. No fast travel and combat. You're taking Isn't that nice? You automatically get into combat right when you spawn, so you can't fast travel. Let's go, man. Gaming. Straight fire. moves. Yeah, Forspoken was way better than this, man. I actually somewhat enjoyed Forspoken at times. Like, Forspoken was fun to play at moments. But this? Hell no. Did I see Camelot new video? No, I have not. I don't watch him. What is it? You sound almost eager, sir. Careful what you wish for. Eager, no. Excited, yes. It would be a shame if all the agents died before I could kill one up close and personal. Did he finally get some to test my skills against the skills of some freak to prove their justice is a mirage, their strength is unearned. That's a challenge I long for. And if I kill the Yep, I heard about the DSP car incident, but apparently he like exposed where his wife worked. Literally one massive Two? Situation. I didn't hear about Make that. Make your way through the hub, Agent. Take out the main processing cores. Shut this system down, whatever it takes. Roxy's secured on the top level. We want to reach her. We need to take down all her processing cores first. I don't know what the fuck DSP was expect. Like, he was acting surprised. And it's like, bro, why? You live in a shithole fucking, you know. <laughs> a fucking uh, West Coast city. Like, what do you expect? Or somebody's gonna fucking steal your tires. 
That's like the thing in LA now. It's not if your car is gonna get broken into, it's when. Like a lot of people will leave their windows down, doors unlocked, and like back seat pulled down so people can see in the trunk, just so people don't bother breaking in. Because it's such a problem in LA, they just leave the fucking car open just to like try and, you know, reduce the risk of somebody breaking the fucking windows just to check. Pretty fucking sad in all honesty. What's that old saying? Oh yeah. Skills for kills, Agent. Skills for kills. Oh. Dude, fuck off. I am so sick of this shitty fucking dude, this game is ass. You gotta destroy the cores, bro. You gotta destroy the cores. <laughs> Oh, this shit is so gay. I'll take those odds and my agent any day. So Delta Gold the two DSP snortmobile gets or got tires stolen after Jinx stuff. Yeah, I don't think that has anything to do with it. It's more so the fact that he lives in a fucking shithole city like Seattle or near Seattle at least. So it's honestly surprising his car didn't get stolen sooner, or, you know, tire, whatever. Didn't get stolen sooner. That's just par for the fucking course for living in a shithole like that. Unfortunate, but true. I can literally two hit punch everything now. Easy. A special agent, this dude fucking reloads slower than a fucking man. Great work. With those cores down, you'll be able to access Roxy's upper level. Ooh. I was designed to re re replace you. Can't, cannot hold back the in the circuits, kick her in the server. Whatever it takes, put Roxy down. Damn it. There's an achievement for punching five. Now is my turn. Come on, just bunch up. 
don't think I just got that. This is exciting uh, gameplay, right guys? Very fun. I see you, Agent. The damage you are causing is less effective than you think. Worse, it is making me angry. You won't like me when I'm angry. I don't like you at all. Those shields can't be broken with direct fire, Agent. You drop the first support beam. Keep going. That's how you do it. Keep dropping those supports. Now, Agent, she's there for the taking. Fuck off, dude. I hate the weapons. So fucking. Weird. Did I really just kill that thing in one the, shot? The failing unit integrity at negative four percent. I just Doxy. killed the fucking boss you in one shot, friends. dude. If you weren't a crazy AI programmed by a psychopath. Agent with Berg dead and Roxy <laughs> offline, Terra Nova's logistics division is crippled. All that's left is Twist scheming inside his tower. And now that I have access to Roxy's systems, it'll be a lot easier for you to climb. So that's basically what's going on in this game. You have to defeat bosses so you can unlock platforming to get to the final boss. Bruh. And nobody just... thought to just get a fucking helicopter. Twist is a control freak who's losing control. Like, what the that fuck, makes dude? Smile, but it also makes him more dangerous. We Was that too much to ask? Like, oh, yeah. This is our chance to take down Nova Logistics. You know, we're going to spend all. an entire ca game campaign unlocking platforms for you to climb, but... A helicopter? Nah, that's too hard. That's too fucking much. Shit's cur How am I in combat? I created the delicate balance of systems and people honed to a pure science. It was How am I in combat, dude? Her, and they killed her. Your devotion to a computer program is adorable, but it's in your hands to ensure her life isn't wasted. Prepare the final upgrade, and Roxy will live on forever as we tear down the agency and the world they hold dear. Clearly, Quist and Neiman won't take this lying down. Sounds like they're accelerating their plans, so we need to accelerate ours. Put an end to this final upgrade. Hey, Goodwin. You okay with a personal question? That depends. Agency direct. Am I out of combat now? I guarantee you it's not letting me fast travel because it wants me to listen. Oh, no. Okay, cool. How the fuck was I in combat? Clearly, intelligence isn't. Oh, great. The lockdown. Major heavy units on the way. Watch yourself. They can't lock down the city if they're dead, can they? Force protocols have been authorized. Security units engage with prejudice. Target located. Kill orders confirmed. Look out! Nova assault pods about to drop. Take everything we've got. Converge on the agent's position. Take him out. We've got industry ground troops moving in. 
Who cares? Another wave of security troops headed right for you. I'm already out of ammo. Full squad. Neutralize the attack. Heads up. Killer machines inbound. This is a threat level three alert. Emergency presence detected. Exercise extreme cavalry. in their big guns agent make daddy duck proud daddy duck what the fuck we have target lock on our level three threat watch out agent industrial mechs are inbound who is saudi and nadella side oh heads up killer machines inbound Dude, you can't even fucking aim around the barrier he's holding. Because this game's controls are like stuck in fucking 2001. Pause inbound. Heavy reinforcements. Actually, no, probably. Uh, that's about right. For PS1, when you didn't have two fucking analogs. Nicely done, Agent. Or no, that'd be the N64 shit. I think the wrong system. This city belongs to her. But yeah, that's that generation, though. Not for long. Oh my god, I'm no weapon. Can't go wrong with full auto missiles. You may not get micropoint accuracy, but you'll destroy anything in your sight. Dispatch to security division. Stand down and regroup. That's an order. Timothy Marco with the two. Such a fun game with a beautiful... I know, man. That's just gorgeous. God, I want her to dominate me. But yeah, this game is an L. Oh, I love it, you generation. This is like my favorite game I think I've ever played. It's totally not the most generic fucking third person action open world game I've ever seen. You know, it's got so much heart and soul and care and just love put into it. It's like what makes a Subaru a Subaru, Those are some dude. Up lifting machines. They pack one hell of a bunch. It's already on end. Ooh, that one shook loose the cobwebs. Great. They called in the station master. Now we can take it out. Protocols disengaged. Enemy back up inbound. So watch yourself. Shut it down. Where's Massa? Oh, there he is. I could actually hit him if it would let me aim. Scanners have picked up the agent. Industry responsible. Neutralize the drone. Judging from the amount of defensive firepower, Nova really didn't. Dude, I cannot imagine how fucking miserable this game would be in multiplayer. Industry units, this is dispatch. Fall back from Like the gameplay is shit. Like if the gameplay was actually fun, maybe I could see it, but like it's so clunky and janky, like it's not fun. Like, it's dog shit. Like, it's just a half-assed fucking game. Like, you have to use lock-on in multiplayer. 
So you literally get a bunch of fucking speds locking onto you with like fucking rocket launchers. With auto aim. It's like, what type of fucking game is that, dude? That's shit. <laughs> like, who the fuck approved this trash? You're using those thrusters well. Good. They'll come in handy down the line. I guess we can go kill this hoe. Oh no, not yet. Too high. Could probably do that. Vargas. Chemical site. What is this? Yeah, too high. Like, look at this. 63% survival chance. 83% survival chance. Why is there such a large difficulty spike 10 feet away? And just so you guys know, like, 60%, you're going to get your fucking ass kicked. Like, you just don't deal damage. That's how this game's, like, difficulty is determined, is all the enemies have, like, their own, I guess, health multiplier based on that percentage. Even if it's the exact same enemies you're killing elsewhere. It's really dumb. New generation of the two play King Arthur. It's a PS2. Mm. As tempting as that sounds, man. I think I'm going to pass. The only PS2 game I want to play is that Shadow of Rome game from Capcom. That shit looks pretty cool. We saw that on the stream or something. I forgot where. But, yeah, that was actually an interesting looking PS2 game I would actually try. Oh, I guess you can't get out of here. Oh, you can. Cool. I was gonna just, uh, wingsuit. Wee. Kamikaze. No, <laughs> no fun allowed. Don't take all damage. That should cause more damage. Oh, you gotta throw shit into these? Wow. It's like a hidden worm, bro. Where the fuck are the rocks? The more the locals see you in action, the more their confidence grows. So put on a show, Agent. Your aggressive actions have landed you on Terra Nova's ship. Where the fucking Enemy rocks, man? Industry field units. You've got a level one Am I like fucking blind or are there no rocks around here? Do I gotta like grab this type of stuff? I guess I gotta get cars. Okay. That's it, Agent. Overload the harvest. Open up. Agent located. Take him out. Bro! Motherfucker. I don't think you can catch stuff, right? Nope. The stronger you get, the stronger you get. Keep pushing yourself, Agent. Got industry ground crew moving in. So I guess that's the thing you gotta do is just wait until they throw a car at you and then you can actually dunk it. Your health is low. You might want to heal up before you take more hits. The 
Field's valve is good to go. Take it out. Switch weapons. Holy fuck. It's like pulling fucking teeth. Escalated to threat level two. Deploy a fast. Schizophrenia level two, enjoying the most exclusive father. Oh yeah, man, this is so fun. I'm loving the generic rinse and repeat activities. They are some of the most fun I've had in my entirety of ever gaming. So yeah, this one I don't think is too difficult right now. You made it look easy. Stand down and regroup. Dude, Phil Spencer's always delivering the, like, just straight greatness. I need to get rid of that wingsuit. It makes me Burn, baby, burn. containment tanks. I love the smell of toxic fumes in the morning. I'm having more fun with this than COD. Oh yeah, man. I think this game could easily replace Call of Duty in my nightly rotation. 100%. I think I may do a second playthrough after I finish it, honestly. It's just that good. Industry ground through. Moving in. Wreck it all. Every tank. Like, how does that not do enough damage to fucking blow all those off? You, like, throw an explosive tank at another explosive tank. It shouldn't matter, like, how large it is. Yeah, I don't know, man. Why am I not dropping buildings right now? Last two tanks. Oh, fuck here. Valve's unlocked. Showing some agency attention. Easy clap. Dude, Red Faction and uh. What is it, Armageddon? Oh, that game was fucking fire. Stand down immediately. 
I never played Red Faction Gorilla. We'll need to come back for the agency another time. Dude, people that call Activision the worst company ever have never seen a fucking Chinese company. Like, they're so full of shit, man. People in, like, the Western world are so fucking naive. People are just so fucking naive when it comes to these companies. They actually think, like, you know, they're doing something by boycotting a video game. Like, you know, when they're, like, supposedly fighting against injustice or some gay shit. No, the only thing you're doing is fighting against people's jobs, you fucking retards. That's all you're doing by not buying video games, FYI. You know, the developers you care so fucking much about being mistreated at these companies, well, the less you buy of that company's games, With Roxy and the, the worse those offline, fucking employees are treated. So, congrats, man. Agent. If you they even get to keep their fucking job. The city. It's just wild to me, man. Like, I'm gonna boycott Activision run. games because Paranova I'm standing up for Activision Blizzard employees. Well, you do realize if nobody buys products. Activision games, there's no such thing as Activision employees. Shut the fuck up, bro. Like, that's the type of fucking retards that we're dealing with. Yeah, if you fucking boycott a company and everybody fucking stops buying their shit, guess who the first people are to get fired? Enemy turrets online. The fucking employees, because they don't have a need for them. It's just wild to me, man. It's absolutely fucking wild. People are really dumb, though. Blast them, agent. They won't come back from that. See, I was killing those, like, mechs inside of that mission with zero fucking issues. Now it's taking, like, fucking four Burn. shots from an RPG Burn to kill them. them because this is a, a tiered event or whatever the fuck. Where they've determined arbitrarily that the difficulty is higher for whatever reason. Just lazy fucking game design, dude. Yes! The militia has taken up arms and they're pushing back. The matter duplicator allows you to clone any object you're currently holding. Think of the trouble you can cause with that. Jump that station master agent. Is there ammo around here? Yeah. that station not anymore outstanding work agent Shit. I think that was all of the uh, train stations right I believe so. Vulnerable, eliminated, eliminate. All right, let's go do this fucking bitch. Let's go kill this hoe.
I have had Death Stranding forever, man. Somebody gave it to me a long time ago as like a joke on Steam. And I was gonna stream it at some point, but after, you know, coming to my better senses, I decided not to fucking play it. But yeah, somebody gave it to me a long ass time ago. I think it's on Game Pass, too. That is a Game Pass quality game right there. Death Stranding, that is a game that belongs in something like Game Pass, because that shit is for sure. Agency is here. Greet them with everything you have left. I have faith. faith yeah, someone nothing. gave it to me as like a joke. The end, and they the said, have fun dies, walking. Or, everyone dies. or some there shit no like that. Ground. I forgot. But yeah, somebody sent it to me as a gift. Supply point is ours. Oh, shit. It's going to take everything we've got. Converge on the agent's position. Industry personnel be advised. Kill the agent, or I will release a chimera shit storm that will kill us all. Kill everybody. I don't give a fuck. Hey, you've got industry drones on the way. Oh no. We've got target lock on the agency threat. My chimera stockpile has been trying to explode the agent threatening facility. Blow it up, bitch. Neiman is sending in reinforcements. How Colt Eastwood could not manage to say one negative thing about this game in his review is really fucking amazing. It just shows you how dedicated he is to the dick riding. It's kind of impressive, man. It's pretty impressive. Is a feather tough as nails. See. You've got a supply point nearby. Vargas must know we're getting close. My meta activity in her lab is spiking. Energy readings are off the chart. The agency oh, hero no. is taking my division apart piece by piece. Time to end it. Overcharge the Chimera store. I'm shooting at and me. transfer the last fully activated cells to Neiman. Now! The higher the agent climbs, the matter I get. Kill it! Before I get in there. <laughs> climb, little agent. Climb to your death. It is waiting for you. I am waiting for you. Oh my Punish god. She's agent. waiting for me, guys. Let's go. I finally got a date. Up 
close and personal. Oh, Terra Nova has killed is threatened. Destroy the agent! Burn, baby, burn! See, I sell it at the bottom. Can I borrow your roller that's used to clean up dog hair? What is that? I don't have one of those, man. I have no idea what that is. I need it for how badly my tattoos are shedding. Also, we stream the Sony tomorrow live. Probably not. If it's in the middle of the day, probably not. It just depends if I'm busy, but I would say most likely not. If it's in the middle of the work day for whatever reason. Out, blow, shit, up. Unless I got like an empty schedule, then maybe, but probably not. I don't know why Sony and Microsoft and Nintendo do their shit. Well, I guess Nintendo makes sense because they do it for like Japan. And the English audience is like the second fucking thought. But Sony and Microsoft, I don't understand why they do their shit in the middle of the fucking workday. When both Sony, or I guess not Sony, but event. PlayStation That'll and Xbox are both American companies. Imagine having to work. I know, right? Doesn't suck. I wish I could be DSP. As he says, only a sucker works a 9 to 5. Guess I'm a fucking sucker, dude. Good. The hero's finally here. Who's ready for some pain? This is exciting, right? I mean, I'm having a great time. Nah, Godfall was more fun than this. Unironically. Godfall at least was like a beautiful looking game that had a cool concept. Just really shitty execution. This game, I would say, is worse than Godfall. Hey, got industry drones on the way. Cause at least Godfall was like some eye candy. Eyes up. Nova's got aerial support closing in. Finally. This doesn't look like a lab. Thank God, like dude, I'm at the end. To Chimera. Have you come to punish me, Agent? Yo, Lollipop Chainsaw is an underrated world. game. That game was actually really fucking fun. <laughs> All Let's the, like, army shit aside. It was actually really fun. She can't hit you with the green shit if you knock her down first. Hey! You 
are not the hero. You will not win! Yo, what the fuck? Watch for reinforcements. Nice display of pyrotechnics. I guess your weapons just don't do any damage, really. Oh, that's to a play? decent. This is how we play. Oh shit, man! I thought I picked up the fucking uh, the agents, from my tower for all to see. Uh, Daryl's on the two. Have you checked Dreamcast guy latest post? Nope. Bill Clinton with the five, someone tried arguing Dealer wasn't a fanboy or at least was more fair and balanced, unlike Cult. Yeah, Dealer's about as fair and balanced as fucking Fox News is. Uh, like, bruh, maybe he's not Cult's level, but... Oh, dude, he's worse. I think he's worse. Cult's better because he's out in the open. Dealer's one of those motherfuckers that's like a closeted fanboy. That motherfucker is like a closeted fanboy, is what I like to call it. Well, not even closeted, because, like, he's exposed his true, like, fucking nature many of times. He just does a better job of concealing it than Colt does. Burn it down. Like, he somehow managed to convince people that he wasn't, like, throwing slurs at people for liking PlayStation. You're not a threat, Agent. You're a best. Nothing more. Switch weapons. Holy fuck, dude. It's like pulling teeth to get this game to let you switch no pain, fucking weapons. No gain. Shut her down. I'm just gonna assume that was necessary. Anyone. Show her the true art of the explosion, agency style. Forbid in a fucking superhero game you can't carry more than three fucking shots. I think you can only carry like what 15 rounds? Shit's crazy. Sit down. <laughs> We're two of a kind. We're destroyers! Watch out for cheap shots. Cheap shots? What the fuck does that even mean? I felt that. It hurt. Watch yourself. Vargas has backup en route to your spot. Vargas gone and her Chimera reserves purged, 
Terra Nova's plans just took a major hit. Neiman will still try and deliver on her promise to make the world suffer. Unless we make her suffer. So let's see, first. I saw over the five. Sony posted a new very detailed graph of how well VR and PS5 PC is doing. Echo. I assume there's I had a, a video whole team on it, but scour it's on the Twitter. agency it's database. Yeah, I there's doubt no their VR is doing very Project well. Vitalis. All I got were whispers. The VR is talking a flop. That PSVR thing Civilians is like, I don't know. Like, I wish, like, I understand that, uh, you know, they want to try and, like, capitalize on the market, but it makes me wish they would just use the resources elsewhere. Because VR really is limited right now. Especially on console. Like, PC VR, you can make a better case for, but, like, console VR, I don't know. troops are gonna suffer. They dropped their sales expectations on that from, I think, a million to, like, 100k, right? My work has never been more productive, and the future of Terra Nova has never been so bright. What a shame you won't live to see it. Where are my balls, dog? Another wave of security troops headed right for you. Alright, I need to get the fuck out of there. There's nowhere for me to, like, stand. Engage the agent with full aggression. Take oh, that's nice. Watch out! Drop pods en route. Is there like somewhere I can stand where I can actually have like space? Be nice. We've got industry ground troops moving in. You can now deploy the highly classified Singularity Grenade. Proceed with extreme caution. Oh, hell yeah, dude, it's classified. Tactical engagement is over. Pull back. Another wave of security troops headed right for you. Shit. Fuck. Bro, what the fuck? Oh Time my for another God. region. That fucking ship like rapes you. All right, I'm gonna get the fuck out of that area so I can actually move around. Jesus. All right, well I guess it doesn't follow you. Cool. Leave those agility orbs hanging, Agent. Let's see, JBT with a 10 watched the worst weeaboos on planet Earth. Uh, Brit is fat. There you go, man. Sugar, father. Well, with the two the chat be having a fanboy twitter spat tonight i guess really about what
What are they uh, arguing about? Is it the quality of Crackdown 3? Because, bro, how can you deny that this is, like, top-tier gaming? This is, like, the pinnacle of gaming experiences, guys. You don't even know. You couldn't even begin to understand how amazing this game is. It is truly phenomenal. Speedway's relatively quiet now. Makes sense, given. All right, let's see. Where's my special top secret fucking gun? I really don't like any of these fucking guns, man. In all honesty, they're all pretty shitty. Nova's under attack, and the party's on hold. But in its day, I hear it was insane. Especially the death race. Imagine, a week-long demolition derby with pedestrians. Small fortunes changing hands, depending on the carnage. But the biggest winners had to be the lucky civilians who got to be part of entertaining the elite and somehow managed to survive. Bro, are you fucking kidding? Oh my god, this fucking game, dude. Jesus Christ. Just let me hack the stupid Whoa, fucking I like box. This weapon. Enforcements heading to your location. Eyes on the agent. All now the that's agents. my kind of chemistry. I've authorized the use of the graviton tether at your supply points, bringing enemies together one shot at a time. around electricity. This is so fun, guys. I'm having the time of I my life. I love the life. smell of toxic fumes in the morning. black hole say hello to the singularity grenade enemy tech perfected by god this thing fucking melts these recordings threat identified later burn baby burn where are the tanks diggers incoming Anyone see these tanks I'm supposed to be destroying? 
Oh, I see him now. I don't know why they couldn't mark him for me, but... The tanks are wrecked and the valve is primed. Shut this place down. Major league so opposition. I saw there with the 20. Which yep, we'll check it out, man. Appreciate it. Facility on the chemical network. Yeah, so much fun. But not anymore. Industry. All right. Now what? This is dispatch. Fall back for now. Almost made it. I'm in combat, apparently. Let's go, dude. Needed those three extra steps, I guess. Sick. and target the main control station. Looks like they shut down part of the freeway. One of the monorail cars broke free and caused a nasty pileup. That's what you get for shipping toxic chemicals through populated areas. Uh, That's right, man. The terminal We're gonna show them. That gun, giving the generator some juice. Dude, are you fucking kidding me? I have to carry one of these boxes out with me. Oh no, they're gonna... Fucking god, dude. Bruh. This game is just fucking disgusting. How anyone can claim this shit is actually good is incredible to me. This game is absolutely fucking gross. How any fucking retard could actually cap for this type of garbage is incredible to me. I'm trying for a remote hack, but you've got to hit each of the turrets before we can target the Yeah, but the my main celebrity cameo. Station. Fuck, I forgot. My bad, guys. Celebrities and gaming make everything good. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. I love when I get knocked all the way fucking down. Let's go. Hell yeah. Got to power up the terminal to access the manual override. Looks like the generator it's hooked up to is missing a battery. Good job, agent. Terminals powered up. Go access it. I've marked it on your HUD. Good work. Power up and hack every turret, and we can crack the shield protecting the control room. You've got no attention. Security forces are out to get you. You're kicking ass, Agent. They marked you as a threat and dispatch reinforcements to your location. We're picking up a level one thread in the area. Generator's up and running. Time to hack the terminal. I've tagged it for you. Yippee. Yup, Terry That's Crews it. does not even fucking Updating speak Dante other than the opening now. cinematic. That's the all the budget done. allowed now for. get inside and disable this turret. Agent, 
agency threat. Good news is, we've punched a hole in their defense coverage. Bad news, the security grid shows more active installations around the island. They're an artillery shield, and Nova's trained them inward, protecting their central towers. If each turret covers a different approach to the heart of the island, then it's simple. Each turret's got to go. That's right, man. More generic activities to do. What's my uh, success rate on uh, 73? Where am I in combat, dude? This one guy. Okay, done. Check their pulse. Always wins, Agent. At least the Dragon Age games have like interesting characters and like cool fucking stories and shit. Like this game is just mid. There is nothing special about this game at all. It's just incredibly fucking mid. Just subbed here, just wondering, are you are a PS cock goblin? What the fuck does that even mean? Are PS cock gobbler? I don't know, man. Are there? Sure. I have no idea. Griffin, did you like? Thumbs no, up, I fucking Agent. did not like any of and the And another crackdowns. day of kicking ass. Begins. I bought them, played them for like two minutes, and then I was like, "Ooh, this is trash." Do I hate Xbox um, for making me play this game? Yeah. Heal up, Agent. That's a fort. Yeah, credit to Crackdown 3, man. Redfall is now technically worse than that, so. GG, well played. Nicely done. Why did that do nothing? Alright, y'all saw me put that one in. Maybe this one. <laughs> Dog, this game is so bad. Reinforcements so inbound, agent. <laughs> Shut it down. I just cannot. All right, I don't even have to throw stuff at them. I can just shoot them. Well, ready for a beat. Great day by the coast, Agent. Taking out those harvesters was never going to be easy. You did the agency proud.
You're a war machine, Agent. Agency threat is active on site. You've got... Alright, I think this is the Enemy last one, right? reinforcements inbound to your location. Found the agent. Send in the hit squad. Oh my fucking god. Dude. Words cannot describe how fucking pissed off I am with this game right now. There's just nothing redeeming about it whatsoever. It's just literally generic garbage. Get ready. Well, dude, Get this game really deserved an 8 out of 10. It's really good. played Destiny in a hot minute, so no, I have not seen the new season. Hey. Trouble's coming at you. Watch for diggers underfoot. Watch those shock attacks. They'll fry you. Industry ground troops moving in. Don't fucking do it. The agent is in our sights. Open fire. You can kill them, but it like bitches at you for doing so. Oh, great. More hacking. Yay. Don't get a concussion. The roads got an escalation squad coming in to say hello. Look at that. I'm aiming right in front of me, guys. Look at this. I'm aiming in front of me at the enemy, and it was locking me onto the guy behind him instead of the dude right behind me or right in front of me. It's like, dude, this. This game just does not need to fucking exist. There is nothing good about it. This is literally the most half-assed, rushed, generic, boring, uninspired, open-world third-person game I think I have ever fucking played. This shit is absolute fucking trash, dude. This should not even be free in Game Pass. This should be like, oh, we're gonna pay you to play it. Like, hopefully Terry Crews got a fucking bag, bro, because it's kind of sad that this is his, like, uh, you know, video game introduction. He deserved better. They could have actually made a cool game with Terry Crews, but no. Doesn't even speak in this one. Doesn't even fucking got speak. The valve to rise. Now, knock it back down. That's a whole lot of Chimera Nova won't be using to take over the world. Demolition jobs don't get any better, Agent. Agency. Industry division, stand down. We'll need to come back for the agency another time. Starfield's gonna outsell Spider-Man? Dude, Starfield's gonna sell like shit. The only place Starfield is actually gonna quote-unquote sell is on Steam. Nobody's gonna buy that game.
Why would you spend money on Starfield when you could literally download it for free, basically? Like, it doesn't make a bit of sense. Nobody's going to actually buy it. Unless you're buying it on Steam. Like, that is the only reason why you would actually buy Starfield. Are you going for 100%? Oh, fuck no. Oh, actually, I found this one game that was like easy gamer score today. But it's actually really fucking fun. I'm trying to remember what it's called. I can check, but... It's like, it, it's almost like fucking air hockey. I don't know, man. It was really fun, but it's really easy gamer score. I was browsing the Xbox store today, but it was mad fucking easy, but it was fun. Honestly, way more fucking fun than Crackdown. <laughs> that's, but that's not saying much. But let me see what it was called. No, I don't know. Mm, let's see. View profile. Where's my achievements? It's called Omega Strikers. It took me about three hours to get 700 gamer score. But you could probably get another 200. You just need... I need to get... Or win a game in overtime, earn MVP, and level up to level 5. But that takes forever. But yeah. I got 700 gamer score in three hours. Pretty easy. I probably could have gotten the 900, but I kept getting robbed of MVP. Like, I got all five fucking goals in, like, several different games, and I still didn't get MVP. Because it's agent. solely based Don't on how many him. times you, like, actually, like, hit the fucking puck or whatever. And that's it. Doesn't matter how many goals you get. Doesn't matter how many assists you get. Doesn't matter how many saves you have if you're playing goalie. Welcome All the, the fucking matters the is that you fucking touch the ball the or the puck sentence. more than everybody else. Somewhere inside, isn't making that is it. Machines to feed beast. So it's kind of irritating. I'm hacked into his systems, ready to push this so it almost encourages fight. you to just fucking all spam. Personnel. Despite the threat of agency violence, all systems will maintain maximum efficiency at all times. That's right, bro. German engineering. Ah, the troublemakers have arrived. Welcome. I trust you will find my preparations are enough to make your visit interesting. Echo, How the fuck did I signal? fall? Where's Quist hiding? Okay. Oh my God. Tracking him across multiple locations. What on is the this levels? fucking dog shit? Agent, see if you can find a way up. The agent has been located in the lower left. Right. the appropriate response. Nah, it's not an anime game. I mean, I guess you could say it is, but it's not really. It's, you don't even see the fucking characters in reality. They just kind of look like blobs. All units, record and upload encounters with agency intruders to the shared network. Every death is a lesson learned. One more for us, and one less for them. Ooh, am I at the boss? Please. Yes, it's not some massive fucking, you know, climb like that other one was. That other one took like 20 fucking minutes of all to get to. Defend me! Is that all? I'd expect you to adapt your tactics. Done. To evolve. As I. Quist just disappeared further up the tower. Oh, of course it's not over. I gave the game too much credit, man. Agent, jump on that elevator now. I gave the game way too much credit. You'll fight so valiantly, Agent. 
your desperation so. I gave the game way too much credit. Silly me. Should have known better, guys. I'm a fool. Risky fried bad guys. The hero of law, or champion of flesh and blood. Welcome to cold, calculated metal death. Keep it up, Agent. Get to the top of Quist's factory and close it down. I hope you be Doesn't sound good. There's a massive spike in data transfer. Quist is multitasking. He knows he's running out of time. Don't let up, Agent. Let's see, so Galaxy Fur with the two fanboys only now realizing games skip Xbox for PS5. Yeah, so it was kind of interesting. Square Enix basically came out and said that, uh, you know, the offer from PlayStation was better than what Microsoft offered when it came to Final Fantasy. So it sounds like Microsoft may have also been competing for some uh, exclusivity on Final Fantasy as well. Which is interesting, oh, yeah. but they said Sony's offer was better. Oh wow, I gotta go up again, guys. Okay. To reach the roof, you'll need a boost. Get to the energy vent in this section, and I'll crank it to overdrive. But watch your back, Agent. Chris plays mind games. He may Dude, the thing is, it's like, it would be a waste of money for Microsoft to spend on Final Fantasy. Like, I know a lot of people don't want to fucking hear that, but it's so true. The games don't sell on Xbox. They had Final Fantasy 15 and only a million people bought it. Now granted, I was one of those million people, but it's like, dude, I cannot blame a developer for, you know, cashing in on a huge exclusivity deal and maybe missing out on a million sales, if even that. Like, that's not that big of a deal. Especially if Sony's paying them like a hundred million dollars or something like that. That's pure profit with development and assistance and everything else. Like, it makes sense. Like, if Sony's fronting the cost of development on a lot of these games, like, it makes sense to sign the exclusivity deal. When your only potential sales are like a million. It's like when Square Enix signed the exclusivity deal for Tomb Raider with Microsoft for the year. They obviously thought the exclusivity deal was worth more than selling it on PlayStation day one. So, I don't know. But I think we're going to see a lot more like indie tier games skipping Xbox. Because unless they can get that, uh, you know, Game Pass deal, there's not really much incentive. Because their game's just gonna get overshadowed by all the shit in Game Pass that people are gonna play for no additional cost. Why would they go out and spend, like, 20, 30 bucks on an indie game that's not in Game Pass? That's what I think is dangerous about Game Pass, is, like, they have now conditioned the Xbox audience into like being a bunch of cheapos, bro. Like I'm guilty of it too. Like I don't want to spend money on Xbox games if I don't have to. Like it doesn't matter how much I fucking like it. Shit. Like if no I don't have to pay wisdom. for it, I'm not gonna pay no for sign it. Of he thinks he's real smart. Brilliant and the I've learned a great deal from your tenacity, but your fight ends. Quiz can't take this punishment. Keep it up. You! You are an anomaly. No human should have survived that ascent. You fight with such fury. 
Do you sense your end? Do you understand extinction? You've been pressed. Hit him hard, Agent. Hit him real hard. You've come a long way to die, Agent. But please know, your body will fuel the next generation oh of paranormal science. Dude, this game. Holy fuck, it's like impossible to keep track of the this fucking camera. This is the camera. end of our playtime together, Agent. <laughs> it was fun while it lasted. I hope his tech is above the Did I get him? Thank I fucking god, had man. To make one final Jesus. No, no, no! Way to zap the real bug in the system, Agent. There we go. Too bad the game Thanks doesn't have you. full destruction Quit or else we could have seen that building fall in real time machine. with the power of the cloud. Are in pieces on the floor. And linking to the firepower he had guarding Neiman's tower. Shutting yeah, it down. Sony for fans good. admit Final Fantasy 13 and 15 stories oh, suck. Gun? Dude, did we play the same I fucking games? Ears, Echo. You got them. We've been In what the world did the Final Fantasy 15 stories suck, the dude? Blackout zones. This shit is unlike anything known to modern science. News the flash. fuck? That's not exactly news. Hell no. It doesn't just shut down power. It consumes it. Every last drop of energy, leaving the Earth raw. Final Fantasy XV had a great story. The fuck? Yeah, bro, lightning's so hot. If she was real, we would totally date. Yeah, if you play through Final Fantasy XV and all the Barton. DLC, which He's is like fifteen dollars on egg. sale all Who the fucking time, blowing shit up. like you will not be able to tell me that that story sucks. Like I'm sorry, like the fuck. Play through Final Fantasy XV and all the DLC and tell me the story sucks. You won't be able to do it. Especially considering how much shit they've added to Final Fantasy XV since launch. Like, the story's way more complete now, anyway. I replayed through it recently, and I was kind of, like, shocked with how much was different. I was like, holy fuck, dude. Like, brand new sections of the game and everything were completely added. So... If you've never played through Final Fantasy XV, buy the Episode Arden Edition, or the Royal Edition, whatever the version's called. With all the DLC, play through the story, play through the DLC, and tell me that has a bad fucking story. The terminal needs power before you can override the gun turret. Your power source nearby. Just gotta find it. The terminal's lit up and ready to go. Let's Yay. pay a visit. Galaxy Fur with the two hundreds of games Nicely skipped done. Xbox One for PS4. We well, yeah, turrets, those are mostly just Japanese games, but yeah, I know what you mean. Lots of indies too. Nope, that's how it always is. Like, I I saw something interesting on Twitter actually, because like, you know, your phone's always listening to what you talk about. 
And even though I, well, I guess I follow gaming. Never mind. I do follow gaming accounts. You but anyway, activate the terminal to take control um, of that gun. what I was Even trying to say is I saw Jez and then that Tom Warren guy talking, saying that all the software skipping Xbox is top. very reminiscent of what happened with the Windows phone. So not a good sign. I don't think they're very optimistic about that at all either, because I think they think it's going to become an even bigger trend of like developers just straight up skipping Xbox. Because games don't sell the unless they have a Game Pass open. deal. Hack that panel and the turret will be disabled. Dude, saying this game sucks is putting it so far in my I just make it look good. No, I'm just kidding. The I'm probably making this and take that <laughs> even fucking worse. Maybe that's even possible. The I'm a fake and a fraud, remember now guys. Get inside and disable this turret. Oh, I finished Mass Effect 2 last night, and I got all the Chivos for that game. Good news is Every single we one. Punched a hole My in squad the survived. Bad news. I banged the security on grid shows more Miranda active installations the around the island. They're an artillery because if you shield romance the aura, it doesn't count for the achievement. Um, Each turret covers think, a different approach to the heart of the island. But yeah, I did everything in that game. Each turret's got to go. I'm still pissed that my archivist achievement for fucking Mass Effect 1 didn't pop up. That shit's irritating. I'm gonna try it again at some point. I'll probably try it on my Series S just to do it on a different console. But, I mean, I know exactly how to get it within like the first hour. So it's not a huge time commitment, but it's really irritating. Cause it's like, bro, I have every single other fucking one. Dude, you don't get to see any titties with Tally. Like literally it just shows her with her fucking like mask on. She never takes it off. That's like Agent. fucking nice e sex, shooting. bro. Dude, Jack is disgusting. Get that shit out of here, bro. Bill Clinton with the two. Apparently, Halo 5 is like Power Ranger. <laughs> what? <laughs> the fuck? Halo 5 is like Power Rangers? Yeah, I don't know, man. Bama Ham Yum with the two. Did you see the PlayStation cosmetics in Destiny 2? Nope. New generation with the two, the story sucks. Yeah, well, I can tell you what you suck, bro. Keep it talking. Keep it going, man. Keep talking. Dig that hole deeper, you generation. You're just gonna embarrass yourself, man. But hey, it's your funeral. The fact that Neiman and built Galaxy Terranova's the two command Windows Mobile had a huge 42% market share. Yep, they were the uh, largest mobile platform at one dumb. point. Mad? Yes. But you wouldn't risk her precious But they completely with fumbled it with really shitty updates, me she's got charging plans. the fuck out of manufacturers to actually make Windows phones, and, and they just fell behind on the UI. We can guess. Isn't that wild? Like, literally, they were charging. I forgot how much. It was, like, some absurd amount of money for every single phone produced to use the Windows Mobile operating system. And then they bought Nokia, which basically made it so that Nokia could operate with no added cost of producing Windows phones because they didn't have to pay for the licensing. There it is. Terra Nova Central Headquarters. Need or wasn't that? That's what it was. Is they signed a deal with Nokia or something. Agent. No, it was when they bought them. It was when they bought them, and then Samsung was like, well, what the fuck? Why do we need to pay for it? Why are we going to make phones and compete with you all when you all are making phones and you don't have to pay for the operating system? Like, fuck y'all, we're making Androids, and the rest is history. The Samsung used to be the largest Windows phone manufacturer. Security troops inbound, Agent. Stay sharp. Enemy reinforcements inbound. Agent location locked. As appropriate. The agent is in our sights. Open fire. Got to power up the terminal to access the manual override. Looks like the generator it's hooked up to is missing a battery. Powered up that terminal. Now go hack it. Three, 
And buff Garfield with the two. Final Fantasy Pixel Remaster not being on Xbox is lazy. I agree, man. 100%. There's no reason why. Especially when that shit's on fucking Android. It makes no sense. But I think it's like devs trying to strong arm Microsoft into giving them Game Pass deals. I think that's what it really is. Is like they want guaranteed money to put shit on Xbox. Like they basically want to be paid to release video games on Xbox is my guess. They feel like they're not losing out substantially enough money that they can like fucking basically strong arm Microsoft into forcing them to give them Game Pass deals is my kind of guess. Cause like Square Enix, the only games they put on there is what, Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII, which did not go to Game Pass, and then the Octopath Traveler, which did go to Game Pass. Those are the only Square Enix games I can think of recently that came out on Xbox. We got this one. Keep going. Security division. Roll out level two escalation squad. I think Apple should buy Sony. Have to activate the terminal to take control of that gun. Giving the I think it'd be the perfect fit for trick. Apple. It would give them a movie, TV, and um, video game division. It would give them hardware. It would give them access to the cameras they use for iPhones anyway. They could use Sony to make like OLED displays for iPhones. Like, to me, it just seems like a perfect fit. Not to mention Sony's like headphone business. They could merge into like the fucking AirPods slash Beats division. I think it'd be the perfect fit, personally. I mean, they could load up like Apple TV with all the Sony owned movies and TV shows and channels. You know, Apple Music could basically operate as, like, the distribution method for all of Sony's licensed music. I mean, it just makes sense, if you ask me. We've opened the control room. I think Apple would be the perfect the company to buy Sony. I'm surprised they haven't tried to. I mean, just PlayStation and Apple are very similar brands, in my opinion. Both have such great brand equity. Like, people value the name attached to their products. In both cases, of Sony and Apple. Well done, Agent. Oh. Easy clap. Great work, Agent. The defense turrets are ours. Grab the Hellstorm Flare from your nearest supply point, and call in our t Well, I guess I'm almost done. Yep, I just got this last guy to do. Oh, I got two people. Okay. So I need to go kill this hoe. How would Apple buying Sony be a massive L? How would that not be a massive W? Could you imagine the PlayStation division with fucking Apple's resources at their disposal? That shit would be insane. Yeah, Sony makes OLED TVs. They pay for the licensing from uh, LG. Although I think, didn't their patent on OLED run out? I forgot what the deal is with that. Because I'm pretty sure anybody can make OLED displays. Because, like, Samsung makes OLED phone displays. But they make QLED TVs, so I, I don't Terranova's know the whole details of on that, is a I don't island. think LG has the exclusivity of in OLED anymore. sinister lairs are the most ominous skyscrapers in town. Of course they've built their headquarters over a Why well, would no government approve Apple buying Next Sony? You know, what type Neiman of fucking dumbassery logic is that? To be a god. That's literally Whatever the perfect principle. type of acquisition. It fills all of the gaps in Apple's in portfolio. End. It doesn't overlap with anything they're already doing. That's like a perfectly fine and acceptable merger. That would most likely go through almost unchallenged.
Plus, it's Apple, dude. Everybody likes Apple for the most part. Especially regulators, bro, because they all use iPhones. We love everybody. I don't fucking love any of y'all. Man. Fuck all y'all. Fuck them kids. But not the EDP way. Um. Not high enough. It really feels like I have made no progress in this game whatsoever, even though I'm at the end, technically. As you know, the more you prove your... That DNA belongs to Walker. He's an old school agent. Oh, did I not do this? Honorable as they come, and one hell of a marksman. People call this the downtown corridor, a gateway to the seat of power on the island. I call it the last exit before the world of real batshit crazy. Bro, the what the, the fuck? Dead. Remember that. Damn, man. What fucking cooked my ass? Bill Clinton with the five. Apparently, the jetpack and colorful armor or something is Power Rangers sequel. The guy kept showing me the opening cutscene. I don't know how. <laughs> yeah, that makes no sense. I don't think the Power Rangers had fucking guns, right? I don't know. I've never actually bothered watching the Power Rangers really, so I couldn't tell you. But I don't think they have guns. Isn't their whole thing like kung fu or some shit like that? And Galaxy Fur with the two, my first ever smartphone was a Samsung Windows. Interesting. Why'd you switch? I remember Crap Gamer in like 2014 still had a Windows phone. That shit was so fucking weak. Talk Ooh, about corporate slavery, man. Talk about fucking corporate slavery. That's it. The last of Nova's hardpoints shut down for good. And every militia member they were holding is back in the fight. Do I have to spell it out, Agent? Do. Not. Kill. Innocent. Civilians. I do what I want.
Yeah, it wasn't like Power Rangers originally like some random fucking Japanese TV right. show that they just reused the, the fucking down, fight scenes the from and rebranded as like fucking way. Power Rangers? I think that was the thing. That was the Power Rangers, I believe. I'm not really up to date on my lore, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that was the Power Rangers. <laughs> Dino morphin' Zorgs. I think that was like their thing. I remember the commercials more so than anything. I never really actually watched it. They had like the Dino Morph Zorgs or some shit. <laughs> like what the fuck? <laughs> Dino Morph Zorgs. I always thought like, oh, it's like they're trying to like capitalize off of fucking dinosaurs and transformers. <laughs> like, bruh. That shit was mad cheesy. But hey, you know. What isn't? I like your style. Of the boss, nice. Agent, I am going to have to ask you to leave the island. Oh, I broke the game. All right, hero. Show me what you I have a feeling this is not where I'm supposed to be right now. Why didn't it pick the balls, bro? I don't think that's where I was supposed to be at that particular moment. Do I have a better gun? Rules are not meant Why to does it never want to switch weapons? You are trespassing on private Terra Nova property. Prepare to die. Where am I supposed to get health from, man? Okay, we'll try again. What the fuck? I don't even know what I'm supposed to do with that shit. Yeah, no shit I'm taking heavy damage. Yes. Yes. I really don't know how I'm supposed to take this fucking thing down. Like it just does way too much damage for like how much I can output. Out of loss, guys. 
I'm gonna cry. All right, well, at least I can come down here and heal. Okay, this thing does way more damage. Shit, man. All right, that makes way more sense. I was just using the wrong fucking weapon. Jeez. That's wild how much more this does. Now I got some fucking ads, too. You're kicking ass, Agent. They mark you as a threat and dispatch reinforcements to your location. All right, well, there we go. Agent, Echo, we found something on Vitalis. Turned up in the transcript from a recent Terra Nova earnings call. It's a new research venture designed to, and I quote, extend a lifetime of opportunity for all. Sounds like more corporate PR spin to me. Neiman doesn't care about any lives except her own. So let's see. I saw it with the 10. Appreciate it, man. Galaxy Fur with the 5. Windows Phone 7 was smooth and great animations, but lacked basic compatibility or capabilities like copy and paste for a while and no YouTube support. Bought a Galaxy S4. Yeah, I never had a Windows Phone. I never knew anybody who had a Windows Phone. Like, my dad always had Blackberries, and my mom had, like, the Motorola Razor. That was, like, the first phone that I can remember that she had, and then she got Samsungs after that. And then I had an iPhone, Samsungs, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't know. I never really knew Windows Phone was an actual fucking thing until later in life. Oh Stop shit, Mr. Beast now. team, you email me, don't believe it, get to that I'm not retarding, not gonna open that, good ready. decision, man. Send it to me instead, I'll open it. Heads up. I wanna get, get a million dollars from Mr. Beast. Oh, Mr. Beast is gonna give me a million dollars, guys. That's so crazy. Oh my threat. god, Mr. Beast. People are really fucking retarded. It's sad. God bless their simple souls. You've got industry ground crew moving in. on the move. Watch for mobile units. Oh great, a new unit. Just keep being you, agent. Yo, what the fuck? Visions. Turn 
accurate. I knew the people of New Providence were suffering, Industry. but I had no idea how many. Now you do. All it's all right. The important people. thing is that we stop. You have my words. And agent, from here on out, you are authorized to exert maximum justice. Hell yeah, dude. Maximum justice. God, the mini map in this game is fucking AIDS. All right, we're getting close, man. That you had agent. Windows Phone with Cortana. A hidden oh my orb God, somewhere bro. around here. Did she call you Master Chief? Hell yeah. Yeah, I told my phone to call me Master Chief, guys. She did. She knows who's gonna finish the fight. Ha <laughs> ha. I saw it with the five. How come the Hulk doesn't lose his pants when he transforms? The experiment. Wait, the experiment altered his genes. <laughs> oh my god. Weaponized schizophrenia with the two? Nah, I told my phone to just call me master. Oh my god. I don't even use my voice assistant. I've never actually fucking used um, Siri or whatever the fuck. I think it's auto set up on the iPhone, but like Google, I never really set up. I don't know. I've never really felt the need to like talk to my fucking phone to tell Agent, it what to do. It's never been that hard to just fucking complex. open a menu. You're not alone. The it's kind of a worthless site, feature, in my the opinion. Crap out of Nagata's but, hey, troops. people like it, what I guess. What do you know? The revolution is real. Like, look how much money Amazon's made from Alexa, dude. It's probably fucking insane. All right, where are these fucking butt plug thingies? I think I found Nagata's command room. He's up top, guarded by a gauntlet of war machines and trained killers. Keep doing what you do, Echo. See if you can hack the cargo elevators and get us a ride up. There we go. Hooray! Oh, shit! <laughs> Fuck. That thing almost just crunched me. You must not have, like, a... No, I don't. I don't even use, like, my... I have a Bluetooth speaker, but I don't fucking use it. Watch the enemy fire! Up, then get back to work. Oh, shit. I'm supposed to be on that. Oh, we're almost done with this game. Please. Must hurt. Be careful, Agent. Ah! 
play Shaq Fu. Yeah, I'm gonna pass on that. I'm not really into beat em ups, in all honesty. I don't know. That's never really been a uh, category. Point captured. Good work. Of course we love you, Anki. You're very special. I want you primed and ready when I kill you. Britt, that's because you have no face. in a good Steal yourself, Agent. Kuli Nagata's a born fighter. A ferocious one-man killing machine. And he'd like nothing more than to mount an agent's head on his trophy wall. He really has no fucking range, man. Holy shit. What is hitting me? Oh, that drone. Holy... Never mind, it was the sniper. Fuck. Closer. Get ready. No, we got one more boss after this one. This is like the last sub boss. Ugh. Finally, man. A war room. I right, gotta skip and I don't fucking care. Well, I learned my lesson earlier. Put Nagata down, and Terranova's security division crumbles. This thing does to the human body. Yeah, that's pretty good. Cool. primed, Agent. Agent, Nagata's mech is driven by an insane power source. You blow him up, this whole base may go with it. Good. Isn't that the point? Try this again.
Let's get this W, guys. Let's go. Positivity. Maybe my other weapon was better. Only real oh, no, difference between so. you and me. You're gonna be real dead real soon. So 1500. Uh, I think it is actually better. I wonder how much things there. Oh, hell yeah. Just gotta do some ad control. I'm gonna take you to my happy place. But don't worry. Cloud Sagana, the security division is coming. Take him down. Shit, man. Fuck. That looked painful. Here's your first notice. I should have said. Pressure on. Take your best shot as I take a line. That seems to be the strat, is just spam the grenades. <sighs> Did I turn off the music? What? There should be music. I hear it. Unless I'm like going full schizo in my fucking rage. Yeah, I am a terrible gamer. Duh. I'm not a professional like BSP, guys. I gotta have, you know, 15 plus years as a full-time content creator to get it up. Alright, that is definitely a strat. Hi, 
We're all base drones. Oh shit, not drones. Fuck! I'm dead. Dude, it's just way too much fucking going on. See you on the other side. Way too much going on. Alright, I need to figure something out. <laughs> or else I'm just gonna stick this bitch on easy and say fuck it. I really don't want to have to struggle and fucking crack down three, but... Not one of those guys. Show this SOB how the agency handles bullies. The most annoying point, like part, is having to like turn your back on him and do crowd control. Like if you were just fighting him with like some little fucking generic guys running around, it would be hard. His mech is tough. Pick it apart, but watch his fire. Holy shit, dude, there's just way too much. There's way too much fucking going on, man. I need to put this shit on journalists. Ah, oh, okay. Let me see if I have anything else. This is kind of worthless. Robots and drones. Humans, armored enemies without chemical protection. Huh. Leaves inorganic material untouched. Pulse beam, that's what I'm using. Let's try that. Don't miss your chance. Take the bastard out. Come on, come on. Let's see what you That's way out. better than that other thing I'm using. Agent, make them feel welcome. Shit. All right, three, well, that's a start. Two, one. Come 
Coming in. Nagata's mech is damaged. Yes! Holy shit, man. No, you won't win. I won't let you win. Hallelujah. Oh my god. Why the fuck was I having such... Oh wait, it's because I suck. There we go, man. You got it, I didn't even have to put well, it on journalist mode, Nagata, guys. Terra Nova security forces are running. I'm scared. learning. Their air forces are pulling out. Hooray! Me and won't like that. Oh my! But I bet God, you bro, won't. That was mind. embarrassing. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all had to witness that shit. Holy fuck! I made a severe and continuous it's lapse in true. my judgment. I have experienced some unfortunate and painful staff reductions. But there's no reason for concern. Alright, let's go get that fucking cum shot of the agent real quick. The world is in darkness, and production of the forces you require remains on schedule. Good. And Vitalis. Terra Nova will always be mine. I honor my contracts. Now and forever. That theory of yours, Goodwin? I think we just Did I get all the agent cum shots? I think so. Let's see. Oh, wait, you can't check it here. But what the hell are they up to? All right, dude. Agent Ramos, don't let the Mohawk fool you. He takes justice into his own hands, <laughs> then crushes people with it. Oh. <sighs> I don't know what's going on, but my asshole is in danger. Do I have all the agents now? Oh no, I don't. Oh my god, bro, I need to find them so I can get the achievement. I'm pretty sure there is an achievement for getting all like the collectibles in each category. So I need to do, well, I think it's an optional, right? This mini map is so bad. Jesus. All right. Let's get this shit. Yeah, DSP is entertaining for all the reasons he doesn't want to be entertaining, which is kind of funny. Agent, secure. But Phil is on our like on, well ironically I should say he is fun to watch. 
don't get me wrong, but not for the reasons he wants to be watched. Your like when he was streaming uh, Final Fantasy VII um, Remake, for example, that was a fucking hilarious playthrough. Okay, I did not get that. Changed your mind, Agent? Man, I'm dead. <laughs> no fast travel in combat, I just gotta die. Oh my god. I must succumb to my wounds. Kingpin Tower. This is where you'll find right, Terra so Nova's see. top dog. Elizabeth I saw the five. Where's the Give destruction hell, or destructible environments? Even old battlefield games manage this. That's right, man. None of that shit. This is Crackdown Three, baby. Yeah, we're dropping buildings. Wasn't that the marketing material? Terry Crews saying we're dropping buildings. Really dropping those buildings, huh? Hey man, I still believe in the power of the cloud and in Phil Spencer. Yeah, Phil playing fighting games I don't think is the most entertaining, but sometimes it can be a... It really depends on how upset he gets. Where it's like Final Fantasy was funny because anything, any, like, any slightly sexual thing that would happen on screen, he would fucking, you know, clutch his pearls over and be like, oh my god, how immature. Or when people say, like, oh, who's better, Tifa or Aerith? He'd be like, oh, my God, y'all are so immature, man. I'm married. My wife is downstairs crying because I just mentioned another video game girl. It's like, oh, my God. Surprise, my wife surprise. cries the main entrance is when sealed. she thinks about the thought of me There's masturbating. There's got to be another way in. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> there's nothing normal about that. Absolutely nothing normal about that. Yes, my wife cries at the thought of me having masturbated in the past. So, this could hurt. Please, okay. I'm gonna stop struggling. Griffin won't answer because he hates, wait, what will I answer? I like Aerith better than Tifa, man. Aerith the day one. yours. Use it. Alright. Next up. Final boss. Let's fucking go! Alright, dude. I wonder if for this boss I'm gonna have to put it in journalist mode. It's always an option. I like to keep my options open. Keep moving up, yeah. Agent. Neiman's waiting for you. Journalist mode may have to come out, guys. I just want to give y'all a disclaimer. Neiman's hiding up there somewhere. Keep Aerith climbing. cringe? No, she's not, dude. Aerith has something called a personality. Tifa's just like overly nice, big titties. That is Tifa's personality.
this little fucking bitch. Burn them, Burn them all. The only way to end this war is to reach the top of this. T all employees, Project Vitalis is under threat. Protect the delivery system. Do not let the angels climb another step. Keep your eyes open. This place is on high alert. My way. with your close combat skills. You can't shoot through fucking lasers. equals best. Dude, DSP was so nervous during that part. He was so upset. Just people were making jokes and shit. God forbid. His wife could have heard that. She might think he's gay. Dude, this rocket launcher is fucking busted. I should have been using this shit a long time ago. their weapons turning against them. What sort of robotic killing machines are you? Our customer demands the highest performance. How dare you threaten my contract? 
A grenade launcher. Such a classic. Loaded with explosives and fire away. Stood a chance. Well done. It's less fun without high explosives, isn't it? Another fucking power. Oh, okay, cool. I didn't know if they're Toasty. Pen Tower. This is where you'll find Terra Nova's top dog, Elizabeth. Tower Special Forces are taking position. Push on through them. We need to reach the top. The ancient must not pass. Protect my talent, or I will terminate the employment of every last worthless one of you. No, I don't want to lose my job. Dude, how would you even find people to work in like a fucking security position like this? I know that's like super fucking autistic. Not me, I bro. You wouldn't even be able to find people to work in a job like this. Burn it down. No thanks on the frag grenade. Punish your drone down and out.
Oh, I guess I wasn't supposed to go up there. What the fuck? Drawing this shit out, man. Fuck. So what's out here that I'm missing? Is this like a climb spot? Oh, okay. Agent has disappeared off our scanner. I was supposed to go this not way. good. I'm not retarded. Yay. It's not that retarded. Maybe a little. Dude, we're almost done. We're almost done. boys uh, I'm key with the 17 months can we watch I'm keys go bro quit using the third person and maybe and Brit is a snow bunny and sweet like a honey bun also tears of joy not as bad as I thought Nintendo still so oh there you go man told you you'll come around to Nintendo I'm key Timothy Marco with a two. Why is there you? fall Isn't damage in a game in this style? Because it's fucking retarded. I sally with the five. I like Aerith for the trolling she does, but I go for Tifa for a booty call. Eh, yeah, fair enough, man. Yeah, Tifa's the type you'd want to take the pound town. Aerith is the type you'd want take a good to stick look, around, agents. I guess. Vitalis is the most sophisticated product Terra Nova has ever built. But it's so much more than that. When I use it to deliver Chimera, modified with your regenerative technology, everyone Vitalis touches will become a data point in my Dog, grandest I got a shit adventure. Like a fucking you will die right with all the rest. But I will have eternal life. Cool. She really has a dragon. Looks more oh like my a god. Snake. So Are you remember, a fucking Rayquaza? Hell this, yeah, I dude! I turned you pathetic agents into ash. This time, you stay dead. Ah, you won't live long enough to regret that. Rayquaza used roar. Where this thing it? killed a lot of good agents and a lot of innocent people around the world. This ends now. I'm scouring Nova's R&D files. Trying to find a weakness. Great. 
Until then, Agent, hit it with everything you've got. This is it. The showdown for tomorrow. The Agency versus Caranova. Winner take all. Come then, Agent. I am not afraid to die. Because I cannot. I uh -huh. am eternal. So when she flies overhead, you can kill my creation. Never taking out that goal, weaken the shield on the dragon's head. So keep hitting that tail, agent, and take out the whole thing. But when's it gonna fly overhead? time again <laughs> what the Agent, fuck the elevator is offline i was behind the cover the dragons launched you to get back up dog what the fuck how the fuck did that hit me? Like, I was standing behind one of these things, and the pulse wave was like, nah, bitch, you dead. They were like, fuck nah. Get wrecked, nerd. Alright, you have to jump it. There we go. That was my sneaking suspicion. Oh, is it doing it again? Got it. Hell yeah, dude, I just killed Rayquaza. Wow, even in the cutscenes, the buildings can't get destroyed. Bruh. Well, that's what I call a hostile <laughs> Not even in the cutscenes do they destroy the fucking buildings. It just does a little bit of damage. You know, maybe some new windows. Work, Agent. You did it! Well, I had my doubts, but the two of you make one hell of a team. The agency could use someone like you. Yeah, game of the year, guys. He game of the generation. Criminal? Game Someone who knows board. things aren't the always the greatest video game I've ever played. In the wrong hands, Chimera could have destroyed everything. Oh my god, now, dude, this shit was ass. Just might be able to harness its power for good. Mm. Oh my god, she's so All right. I know, dude. I'm, I'm gonna empty gallons to the thought of her. W game. Oh my god. Chimera. That game was something, so alright. Agent Terranova was just the beginning. 
Oh no. You are the end. Crackdown four. Three out of ten. Nice work, Agent. Terra Nova is no more. All the bastards are dead, and the world is safe. For Hooray. the time being. Safety. They should put all the orbs on the map so you can, like, uh, go collect them. But I guess not. They want you to run around aimlessly for hours. Weaponized schizophrenia with the two big company bad? That's right, man. Especially coming from Microsoft. Let me see how much gamer score I got from that game. Let's see. I got 620. That's pretty good, honestly. Do I have any that I'm like just about to finish? Neutralize every enemy asset. I only have one thing left. And then one more agent orb. And then, yeah, I got like 100 more fucking orbs to collect yeah I'm almost done with like a majority of the uh, collectibles and shit that's tempting maybe in my free time I'll just do some of these and like uh, I guess get some easy gamer score so I can hit 100k I'm like at 91,000 I think I just had it pulled up. I should have checked. Um, let me check. I am at 90,815. So, yeah, I'm almost done with uh, getting to 100K, which is my uh, goal. I think this is the last thing I have to do for that one achievement. Fuck it. Let's do it real quick. Let's get another 40. I only have to do this one thing. And everything else is done. See, Someone this is... Like, the coalition should take Let's fucking see notes. Try to stop us. Like, I beat the game, did the campaign, did a bunch of side activities, and I walk away with, like, almost 700 gamer score right off the bat. Gears of War, I played through the campaign, finished the DLC campaign, and I walked away with 240. Like, that shit's pitiful. And I know for a fact the old Gears games gave way more um, gamer score than that. Cause I used to do the fucking achievements. In that. My fucking god, dude! This fucking like traversal mechanics are Don't so bad. push it, agent. This place looks pretty damn cool for a criminal mastermind.
Real gamers, 100% every single game. I know, man. Wait, why? 100% uh, at Mass Effect 1 and 2, so. There you this go. This is some next gen evil. I just got a feeling. Bro, are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god. There's nothing next gen about this game. What the? Is that what I think it is? They're genetically engineering the population into soldiers. If this is mid-level shit, what's going on upstairs? Fucking dragons, bro. Why can I not jump through that massive hole in the ceiling? Wait, actually, you never got the achievement in Mass Effect 1? Well, I did the achievement twice in Mass Effect 1, so I consider it 100%. So, eat my sack. Ooh, let's do this real quick. Let's run a race. Good old-fashioned racism. Finish lines in sight. You just struck gold. And then you restart. And then you abort. And it's like it never even happened. Weapon of some kind? Whatever it is, we can't leave it in the hands of Terra Nova. Find it and commandeer it, Agent. Amazing. Hell Terra Nova's yeah, most advanced scientist developed a weapon that literally rips a hole in reality. Oh, well, that would have been nice to have. Fuck. This thing's probably OP as fuck. Oh, yeah, dude. Shit. This would have fucking murked that other boss. <laughs> well, shit, man. I was struggling on that other boss for nothing. All right, man. Let me just see if I got the achievement real quick. Uh, let's see. Oh, I'm missing one? Neutralize everything. I'm missing one fucking thing. What? There's nothing for me to neutralize, bro.
Y'all see anything I'm missing? I fucking don't. Wonder if I have to get those radio towers. Although, no, those aren't enemy objectives. Bro, I have no idea. That is so fucking gay. Right when I think I'm finally done. Alright, well, fuck it. Goodbye, Crackdown. Oh, let's see. You will not be missed. <laughs> Bruh. You have to discover it. Well, yeah, by like literally, have gone everywhere. Yeah, I'm gonna look it up. There's got to be like some menu you can check where you can see like the progress of everything. I think that was like a thing on the boss menu, so I'll probably check that out again. Oh my god. Yo, I ordered this really cool like little switch case that holds uh 24 of the cartridges. That's like the size of a cell phone. So now I can like take my Nintendo Switch game library with me at all times. But yeah. Gaming, right? Alright, let's do these recommended videos. And then we will check out some other shit as well. Hey, what? Alright, so... JBT, you're first. Oh, fuck off, man. These fucking fruity ass motherfuckers over at YouTube make me sign in to confirm my age. I'm not fucking four. Jesus Christ, man. There we go. What's up, guys? It's every single YouTuber on YouTube. I'm not even joking, dude. Every single YouTuber on this fucking website starts their videos off with this same exact thing. It's always, hey, what's up, guys? And for all the people that want to be YouTubers, the, yeah, key, my Nintendo the Switch. key is in the what, okay? It's not, hey, what's up, guys? It's it's this guy. It's, hey, what's up, guys? You gotta get that what. If you can't get the what, you might as well just quit, dude. You might as well deactivate your fucking YouTube channel. Go back to Wendy's, okay? You gotta get the what, okay? Practice with me, everybody. Hey, what's up, guys? And yes, this is including myself, too. I start all my videos off with, hey, what's up, guys? I mean, last time I said that, you know, every YouTuber starts their videos off with this, I got a few comments like, oh, my God, look at this video. Oh, my God, he, he, he said, what's up, guys? <laughs> Fucking leafy. Oh my god, you're always making fun of people, but really, you're making fun of yourself. Get exposed. I'm going to Keemstar. Well then, now that everybody fucking hates me, today I'm going to be showing you guys a video that, well, might make you lose a little bit of faith in humanity. Now, I don't think it's going to be too bad. I don't think you're going to go and kill someone after this. Why but, not? Uh, Dude, I want to kill someone after playing Crackdown 3. <laughs> <laughs> but not because of this video. Fucking bad, dude. But without further ado, we're gonna be checking out one of my favorite channels, uh, th this, this guy right here. And we're gonna be watching this fantastic video right here, so be prepared to lose all faith. Oh my god, bro, it's the girl from Oromo. In humanity, and just without further ado, let's play it, dude. Let's fucking play it. Let's play it. Yo, you guys want to see my Nintendo Switch games real quick? I promise it's super cool. Look. There's my Switch games, guys. Look how awesome they are. Look at that shit. We got Pokemon Eevee, Shield, Sword, Mystery Dungeon, Arceus, Snap, Super Smash Bros, uh, Mario Kart, uh, 3D All-Stars, Bowser's Furry, um... Uh, Mario Golf, uh, Mario Paper, uh, Luigi's Mansion 3, Animal Crossing, uh, Switch Sports, almost a Wii Sports, Ring Fit Adventure, Xenoblade 3, uh, Ass Creed, Rebel Collection, we got Darksiders 1 and 2, and then Gal Gun 2. Hell yeah, man. That's not all of my games, it's just the ones that I, uh, had in my other case. <laughs> Oh, 
do 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 oh, oh. oh my god bro she's so hot <laughs> what the fuck what the fuck is youtube anymore dude what what the heck is even going on? I mean, all I gotta say is the expectations have been set very high. Like, we are about 10 seconds into the video, and this yeah, guy that's has the already from pulled Warmo. out a fucking a waifu pillow out of a suitcase. <gasps> Jesus. Do you guys hear that, like, laugh he has? That laugh and growl? He's just like... <laughs> He's ready to devour that <laughs> shit, man. Oh my god. All I gotta say is that that body pillow, that fucking body pillow, since this video has been recorded, is no longer with us. That body pillow since recording has been filled with something. And you can bet your ass there's no polyester. <laughs> Bruh. <sighs> <sighs> What the fuck? This is the type of motherfucker that would tickle your toes while raping you, okay? This motherfucker <laughs> is gonna fiddle with your toes while he fi- No, 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 no. He's the type of guy that instead of, like, raping you when he fucking drugs you and throws you in the back of his fucking van, he would take you home and then just suck on your toes for three hours and then let you go. Fiddles with your body. He doesn't do it because you're hot. He doesn't do it because he wants that nut. He doesn't do it because he likes your booty. He does it for the sheer enjoyment of the psychological pain that he's giving you. Okay, okay, I know it's just a pillow, but like, oh, he's shushing the pillow? What the, who, 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 who does that? Is this guy like in, a, in, a, in some sort of rape fantasy where it's like, Shh, I know I am. Just remember one thing, waifu pillow. They can't unrape you. <laughs> Oh my god, this guy just turned her into a fucking to-go box. This guy was having his meal, and by meal I mean shushing the fucking waifu pillow, and he thought to himself, I'm gonna save you for later, okay? I'm gonna save you for later, because I gotta go play some CS with my buddies. I'm really trying to get that, that silver two, and you know, I, I just, this is gonna have to be bookmarked, okay? So I'm gonna save you for later, don't you make a sound, and I'm gonna put the blanket over you as if you were some fucking Chinese food. Bruh. Wow, dude, you know, I, I know I said some mean things about this guy, but... I take it all back. This guy's a, this guy's a great guy. Look at that. You know, maybe maybe he's shushing waifu pillows, but he makes a heart out of candles. That's so sweet. I mean, seriously, everybody that's like, oh my god, Leafy, he's fucking. Look at this guy. He's he's raping the anime characters. He made a heart out Who of candles, wouldn't? though, bro. Like, Let's Dude. be honest, guys. If an anime character was standing right in front of you, who would not rape them? But he's so sweet. I I'm sure this guy's a great guy. Just a, just a fantastic, just a fucking swell guy. <laughs> Bruh. His dinner date? Hell yeah, man. This is clear proof that God is fucking dead. Or like getting some Taco this is Bell, a decline maybe some of Doritos. Fucking Western Western the matter culture, is, bro. he's definitely not here anymore. Bro. Whoa, whoa, did, did this guy just fucking pet her forehead? Like, I get it, he was petting the titties and shit like that, but her forehead? There are no titties. Her fucking forehead? Yeah, he's just wiping the fucking, uh, you know, target for later. Yeah, this man is definitely the toe filler type. He's definitely, he wants to play with those toes, dude. Oh, also, I forgot to mention, what the fuck is going on? Oh, I thought he was going to start jerking. Oh, oh my god. Banana. Mm. 
Oh god, he he just pulled out the fucking banana. He, the <sighs> banana is out. Everything is on the table now. And if there's any <laughs> nine year old kid watching, this is the reason why your parents tell you not to talk to strangers. Sometimes I see shit like this, and I just wish I could like. And I don't know where this guy is from, but like somehow time travel back to like World War Two and just sit down with a World War Two dude and just be like, hey buddy, I, just two seconds of your time. Just want to let you know that you're fighting for this man. How does it make you feel? How does it make you feel, buddy? Two nukes was not enough. That's how it makes me feel, right? All right, guys, it's, it's fucking happening, dude. Just, just everybody, put your radiation suits on, put your gas mask on, and prepare because I mean, this is just a hunch. I'm not really sure here, but I think he's going to fuck the body pillow with the banana. Just, just, just a hunch, man. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. I want to die. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, bruh! What the fuck? <laughs> Alright guys, I know this is gonna sound crazy, but I'm gonna be real with you. I think humanity needs help, okay? What I don't know who it's gonna fuck? be, maybe Ty Lopez, but someone needs to step in and, and, and help us. I think the internet needs a father figure. And Ty Lopez, I, I think you're gonna be the guy. So Ty Lopez, if you're watching this, Ty, please come out from the shadows and help us. We're in our time of need. We need you. Bruh. Ty Lopez, our <laughs> Messiah, please don't <laughs> leave us here with this man. Ty Lopez, please. The fucking straight tar just going banana. Please, we need your help. We 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 need your garage, Lamborghinis, and and mentors and shit. Ty Lopez, please. I'm sorry to say, but I think I, I think I have to say it. Ty Lopez doesn't give a fuck about us. He doesn't give a fuck about anything, okay? He only cares about his Lamborghinis and, and his garages and mentors and books. We have been simply forgotten. We're forgotten. No, but have you guys ever seen some of the documentaries about humans where they show off, like, evolution, and they show off, like, some of the achievements we've made? Like, it shows fire, then it shows the wheel, and then it shows fucking, you know, blah, 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 astronauts and shit. But out of all the bullshit human documentaries, I wish just one of them included this man at the very end, just for one slide. He doesn't have to be in the whole thing. Just one slide, because I feel like this man is really showing us what the next step of humanity is, is gonna be. I mean... Literally fucking Griffin anime characters. Good uh, this guy good a body pillow. Still. I mean, this is I a big step, right? And I just, just one slide, dude. Just one also, slide. Also, if I don't I read chat, I'm a lot it. better. You know what? I'm just gonna do it right now. I'm gonna fucking do it because, because, uh, just. If I ignore the chat, then I'm actually very good at surf still. You don't really forget how to surf. It's pretty easy. But no, no. Banana. <laughs> Bro. Bro. Oh my god. It gets even worse. He's wearing a fucking Naruto costume. We need you now. Well, guys, in conclusion, Ty Lopez, fuck you. Yeah, that's what pretty much it. Fuck, but I hope man. you guys, But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. What the actual fuck? All right. I Siler. We'll do yours. Oh wait, this is the uh age restricted tab. And it's available starting today. If you're a gold member on 360, your membership carries Why is it so quiet? available starting today if you agree, damn bro that's quiet your membership carries over to xbox one beginning july 1st up through the release of xbox one two free why did i post myself doing that i just couldn't resist man she was so fucking hot oh dark souls 2 dude dark souls 2 was fire Ooh, the goat. Rise, son of Rome. This game is fucking fantastic. Sunset overdrive. 
Sunset Overdrive, another banger. Quantum Break. I didn't like Quantum Break that much. It kind of drew on unnecessarily, and the gameplay mechanic was really weird. Oh, Sparks? Didn't that... Or Project Spark. Yeah, I remember that. It came out and then almost immediately got canceled. Killer Instinct was fun once they actually let you use the fucking um, characters. Killer Instinct was cool because it had like this auto combo system. So you didn't have to like learn combos. It would like help you chain them instead, which was nice. You could actually enjoy the game. Dude, moving away from Microsoft points was an L. Microsoft points were great. Battlefield 4, another banger. Once they could actually get it working. Second Assault on Xbox One before anywhere else. This next title is a great example of what a small... Dude, look how skinny Phil was back then. Shit, man. I guess being in charge is put on the pounds. Oh, this shit was heat. Halo 5, this shit was absolutely fucking fire. I love Halo 5. Motherfuckers can uh, hate all they want, but Halo 5 is great. She's awful, though. And 140, that's 429 pounds in the UK. It all begins this fall right here on Xbox One. 100 bucks, wow. Yeah, Sony had one of the best announced trailers for the PlayStation 4. It's one of my favorite trailers ever, is their uh, PS4 announcement trailer. It was really fucking good. The product designer, Sinisa, and... To the whole PlayStation design, engineering, and development team, thank you for being uncompromising in the pursuit of a revolutionary new console. And How did they go from having a great-looking console like the PlayStation 4 to that dog shit PS5 design, man? Like, the PS4 was great-looking. You could stand it up on its side. You could stand it up on, like... Fucking ho horizontally without having to screw a fucking stand on. It didn't look like a retarded, like, fucking modem. I don't know, dude. That are exclusive to PlayStation. Won't impose any new restrictions on the use of PS4 games. Won't require you to check in online periodically. It won't stop working if you haven't authenticated within 24 hours. The ability to play games that are being downloaded in the background, cross game voice chat. To transition to a friend's network based on real world. Yeah, guts. I bought like this little switch case that holds uh, 24 games. It's like the size of a DS, actually. It almost looks like one. 
will have access to all the benefits. It's like the same PS3, size as my Vita, iPhone almost. Now PlayStation 4 a little shorter. Price, a month. But Remember, yeah, pretty cool. You can put 24 games, games in there. Cloud saves, automatic game updates, early access to beta I'm probably order another one. I wanted to see how it was well before I got two. To fully immerse themselves in the incredible PS4 games with online multiplayer. And PS4 games that are PS4 gamers that aren't PS Plus members will be able to enjoy the single player games for free and access to all of your media services won't require Plus. We've added Instant Game Collection to Plus last year and it's been an incredible success. I'm very proud to announce that PlayStation 4 will be available at $399. Yeah, that was a. They took the camera out. So, the reason why this looks so cheaply made right here, like, this literally looks like something you'd make in Photoshop in like three minutes. Because right before they went out on stage, they, they took the camera out. Originally, this thing was going to be 500 bucks with the PlayStation camera included. They did this last fucking minute right before the conference started, like 10 minutes before they finalized the presentation to make it $399 without the camera because of the Kinect controversy. So, the benefits of going last when it came to announcing your console. But originally, Sony was going to force you to do all the same shit. That's what's ironic. That all leaked. Euros, and for the folks in my homeland, pounds sterling. Pounds sterling. Yeah, right. You can't get a pound of sterling for that much. Hell no. DJ Aftershock with the two, don't forget, originally supposed to be four gigabytes of RAM. Yup. That it was. What are we at now? What did it show? Is this, uh... The fuck? Oh, this is EA, Plants vs. Zombies. This shit was fire, man. I love Garden Warfare. I just saw the fucking, uh, like, little tulip thingy or whatever that's called. I don't know. But yeah, Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare was great. These games were really fun, dude. Titanfall was so fucking goaded, man. Titanfall 2 was a tragedy because they changed so much from the first game and then it flopped. Which it kind of deserved to flop. But it's a shame it did because we'll probably never get another Titanfall multiplayer game for the foreseeable future. I never actually gave this game a fair chance. I should have. I got bored and stopped playing it almost immediately. I was way too deep in the COD back then, man. Oh, EA Sport. Oh, yeah, I remember fucking uh, NBA Live. That didn't last long. Like, for as much shit as people talk about 2K, nobody bought EA's, like, NBA Live, even though apparently it was better gameplay-wise than 2K. I didn't buy it. I bought 2K. Madden 25. I had this.
Commander here. Please move in and attack point B. Oh, dude, the Levolution. Hell yeah. I played on this map maybe twice. <laughs> Take it out. That building is unstable. You better get out. Jump. I think the building fell down one of the games I played, but that was it. I mean, it was a cool little gimmick, but, you know, Building's not really uh, practical to expect it to actually fall. It's got better destruction than Crackdown, though. This game was actually fun. Shouldn't have been 60 bucks, but pretty good. Yeah, this was a good game. Splinter Cell Blacklist. I actually like that. I remember I went to a local game store and bought it there. I need to play that at some point. I never actually finished it. Can we watch the Phoenix? Yeah, no, we can definitely watch that, man. Sure thing, Guts. We'll check it out. I think we got one more recommended video and then we will uh, watch that, actually. That sounds like a good idea. I haven't watched it yet, but I'm interested to see all the shit that RGT had and how much he got for it. Yeah, I've watched like a few of uh, that Phoenix Resale guy's videos and he's really fucking good at making money. Makes me want to get back into game reselling, man. I miss being a game reseller. That shit was fun. Buying like hundreds of copies of games, packaging them up, printing labels, going to the post office. It's a very fun loop. I love the fucking process of buying and selling video games. And massive civilian casualties. Supply chain that gets things where they're needed just in time. We created a house of cards. Americans can spend ninety billion dollars in a single day of shopping. Packaging will jump from tainted. Oh, the division, dude! This game was nothing like the advertisements. By the time patient zero feels the first sore throat. Why are we watching these old trailers? Uh, why do we watch Otaku Daikin videos? Because uh, somebody recommended them, Eugene. Not everybody has to fucking recommend absolute dog water. Some people can recommend good stuff. Thank you so much for being here. Good night. Not everybody has to fucking uh, donate to watch a bunch of garbage. All right. So, Isiler will do your last recommended. And then we'll watch that uh, F RGT video with his uh, collection. 
Yo, what the fuck? Damn, bro. Dude, in the U.S., that thing would already be shot. We wouldn't have a problem with that. Ew, eels. Ew. Gross. Those things are nasty. They taste good, though. Oh! <laughs> Did the duck got that? Yeah, that duck ain't living long. Bruh. Be gone, thought. Oh no, 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 no. Oh my god. Get out. He sees it. He sees Hammerheads it. don't attack people. Oh my god. <laughs> Hammerheads don't bite you, they hit you with their head. You're fine. <laughs> Bruh. Oh dear, here we go. One, and two, three. Jesus Christ Almighty! Snakes! Jesus Christ! <laughs> I think we gotta go after this. Be careful, Evan. They got a gator. Oh my god! That's a big gator, buddy. That is a big gator. Bruh. Oh shit! Oh, this was in that other one. Oh, oh shit, yeah, that's happened. I went fishing with my friend one time and that shit happened. Right. Gotta be careful here. He got stuck in his arm, not in his face, but like, that's never fun. Oh my god. Drop your fucking pole, you dumbass. Well, that puts an end to my tarpon fishing. Get back. Yeah, yeah, you're lucky he doesn't fucking charge you. <laughs> Bro, it wants to play. That's funny. That was staged. Oh yeah, this was in that other one too. Go get the gun. Oh yeah, dude, you don't fuck with mooses. Those things will fuck you up, man. Look at that fucking hog. They're both fat. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I was recording that. Based <laughs> horse. Y'all need to fucking walk. Got like a big stick or something. Big stick. It's heavy, whatever it is. 
It's a gator. Uh, that is not a stick. Oh my God, that's not a stick at all. Holy sh! <laughs> holy sh! Oh my lord! Holy, holy moly! See, if y'all had guns in Australia, you could um, just fucking pop it real quick, and then you're wow, done. Wow, that changes things. Put the barrel to its fucking head, pull the trigger, get some gator niblets. Hell yeah! Make a new purse. Hey! 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 Oh shit! Hey! That means a mother bear is around, too. Daddy, there's an octopus eating a crab! Oh, my, Sherry! Bro, that's my favorite hentai. The octopus got gonna my crabs. You. I'm going away. I promise I'm not gonna bug you. I'm oh my god, quit away. talking to a fucking animal, away. bruh. I'm going away. I'm going away. I'm not gonna bug you. It's a cat, dude. Stand your ground. I'm going away. I'm going away. I'm not gonna bug you. I'm going away. Quit talking to it, you <laughs> fucking dipshit. <laughs> I'm walking backwards on the trail. Yeah, get the now. fuck away from that, dude. Never fuck with a mother bear. Cubs. So I am continually to walk backwards. And mom and the cubs keep following me and are walking at least as fast as I am. Hmm? That's why you should always have a gun out in the wilderness. <laughs> that was cool. Why did it spit it out? Ew. A leech. This is why you need to bring no. a gun, people. F you, dude. Holy. Fucking pop that thing. Yeah, get the f away from me. F face. Yeah, most cats are fucking pussies. You can typically scare them. Even lions you can scare away a lot of times. It's the wild dogs that are... What you gotta worry about, because if there's one, there's multiple. Yeah, like bring your fucking Glock or some shit and just fucking cap that mountain lion. Take like one or two shots. And even if you don't kill it, that thing will fucking flee the scene. Alright, so whose channel is it on? Let's see. RGT 85 collection. Oh, there it is. Buying RGT's 80 or $40,000 video game. Well, I guess that's so he probably paid like 50%, so he spent 20 grand on this guys for context. Keep that in mind. This will be interesting. Folks, I'm sitting right now in front of easily the craziest collection that I have ever bought. Yesterday, I took... 
I want to see if I would pay more than 20k for it. Two plane rides. Because it, honestly, like from what he showed previously, I would have paid 20k for it. So let's see what he's got. A long Uber trip and a much shorter cargo van ride to arrive here in Connecticut from Kentucky to buy the collection of none other than RGT85. Sean, thank you so much for having me out. I appreciate it. Yeah, man. Thanks for buying my stuff and making it nice and easy for me. <laughs> <laughs> Happy to. So tell me about some of the stuff that is sitting here. I want to ask you about like some of the hidden gems and the coolest items. But first, I am curious, when did this collection start? And Ooh, I have the sealed still. The Monster Hunter Rise Collector's Edition. I wonder if it's worth anything. And why'd you decide to sell? So I would say most of this collection started about um, 15 years ago or so. Um, mm -hmm. Some of the items are a little bit older, but I've always, you know, just loved video games, been around video games, all that sort of stuff. And I would say, you know, at the time the collection kind of started, just out of Imagine necessity. Imagine if you would have kept all you know, the shit accessing sealed, these man. games and stuff wasn't all that easy unless you actually had, you know, a physical copy of the game or something like that. So yeah. it's definitely grown, but you know, as time has gone on, I've been collecting less and less. And, you know, just for me, the the hobby just you know it's it's no longer you know for me. I, I'm not really into just collecting a bunch of games to sit on a shelf. Damn, I'd rather bro. Right. He lost a lot of weight from back then. You know, it's always more so been Remember about him. the games themselves, yeah, not like necessarily. Yeah, not necessarily. Remember me? I remember the that. Collection Fuck. just to have a big collection. And yeah. Be like, oh, look at my collection. You know? Totally. But yeah, there's tons of uh, just random stuff in here. Mm -hmm. um, some homebrew stuff. Uh, Street Junk. Fighter of Rage 2, which is a Street to Rage 2 hack that has Street Fighter characters in it. Uh -huh. Junk. Mega Man, which was the Game Gear version of Mega Man ported to the Master System. I have I have amassed, you know, Penn and Teller, Smoke and Mirrors. Who doesn't love <laughs> Penn and Teller? I believe this game was completed but never officially released. They should have had an official release. Those I mean, guys are great. Yeah, you know, if you ever want to play some NES games on your Dreamcast, we have NES games <laughs> on Dreamcast. Yeah. Hold on, I need to see the back of that. That's crazy. All sorts of fun stuff, because I've amassed just, you know, from companies sending me stuff and just weird odds. But did he make much of a profit? Well, if the collection's worth 40K, he probably paid around uh, 20 to 25,000 would be my guess. Typically, when you buy wholesale lots, at least in my experience, when I buy Pokemon cards, it's around 50 to 60% if you're buying like a bulk lot of expected value because of all the legwork, individual shipping, listing, and man hours taken to actually sell all of that shit. Like, that's the thing you got to factor in is how many hours of your life do you want to spend selling each one of these things individually? So you have to be willing to offer it at a big enough discount where people are willing to take on that legwork. And ends, yeah. and it's been a crazy journey with a lot of see, like all that, like custom things. shit's probably not worth anything. Things involved in it. This has to be one of the randomest bins that you have. And by the way, folks, what I didn't tell you is this is just one room of three that we're going to visit today that has part of his collection oh, stored. Wait. Just one room of three that we're going that? to visit. Oh, he's got that fucking weird, like, DVD player GameCube thingy. Those are kind of cool. Is it today that has part of his collection stored in it? I mean, it's a crazy amount of stuff. So, <laughs> we've got a little Game, Game Boy, Boy fanny here. pack. Yeah, I, I actually specifically bought this for That's probably convention. worth quite a yeah. bit. Just to wear it. It's there. amazing to have these things to rock at convention, whether you're, like, bringing cash around or for small pickups or that kind of thing. Look at this Saturn little disc case here. I don't know if I've ever seen. Is this, like, an OEM one or is that yeah. a sticker? No, it's a, it's an OEM one that I bought at a uh, convention. Um, I think I paid five bucks for it, and there's just some random. I know this is worth a lot of money, but it's kind of in scuffed condition. Yeah. Um, but you know, like a demo disc, and if you need a cheat system for your uh, DS Lite for Pokemon and stuff. And yeah. Other stuff, I got you covered. These are more official products. Um, E-reader bundle. That's crazy, by the way. Yeah, this, this has got to be super rare. Yeah, it is. That's got to be with pretty the expensive. E-reader, the cards, and then the Game Boy Advance system. Too bad it's open. Essentially, it, and it's it's very wonky how it works. Like to get Dude, everything. That's a shame. Like, it's working. open. Like, you have to slide all these different. See, that's the heartbreaking part about looking at a lot of people's collections, quote unquote. It's like you just see how much shit could be worth if they would have just kept it like sealed. I don't know, man. When I add something to my collection, it's got to be sealed. Or it's got to be, like, pristine condition when it comes to cards. I don't buy junk.
your cards just to play yeah. Donkey Kong Country Jr. It's like, this is not convenient at That's all. wild. And then, there, you know, there's some, some collector's editions of stuff in here, uh -huh. stuff that I have digitally that I reviewed, and it's like, oh, I want to get the physical version, I think I paid too. 50 it's bucks like, for that, so if it's on 100, version. I'm in the yes. positive. And then in here, we've got... A whole bunch of Switch stuff. Yeah, more Switch stuff in here. Uh, Ori, that's nice. I think Lost Spear is actually worth games, quite a bit. Games, games that I bought digitally. Yeah, just a just a little uh, tip for you guys. If you all buy, like for example, this is how I gauge it. So whenever Best Buy puts Square Enix Switch games, like in the JRPG category on sale for $30 or less, I'll typically buy a couple copies because that usually means they're about to go out of print and Best Buy is trying to liquidate them because they're no longer going to be having like an actual stock of them. So they try to liquidate to open up room in their warehouse for like other items. So usually that's a good way to gauge when games are about to go out of print from Square Enix because a lot of their Switch games go out of print. Like, um, I think Octopath Traveler, the original, is out of print right now, and I think it's worth, like, 80 90 bucks sealed already. And that goes for, like, they had that game Bravely Default and a couple others like that where if you bought them for, like, 20 bucks, they go up to, like, 80 now. It's really dumb, but yeah, Square Enix games, when they're like around that $20, $30 price point sealed, I would buy a couple copies, hold on to them for a year or two. There's a good chance you're going to double or triple your money because they're about to go out of like stock permanently and out of print. And that's kind of getting up there. You know, it's getting a little more rare. It is, yeah. Um, but yeah, a lot of games that I've purchased digitally or gotten review codes for digitally. Like that I wanted prime to example, dude, um, Near Automata. $30 right now at Best Buy. It's sold out. I think you can still get it on Amazon. Brand new. That game... If, dude, if Near Automata goes out of print and you have sealed physical copies of that that you bought for 30 bucks, they're only going to go up. So I bought like five copies from Amazon recently. They're, sh they're sold out on Best Buy, which means Best Buy is not getting more stock of them, which means they're probably out of print. And retailers are selling what they have left. I mean, look at Super Mario All-Stars right now. It's, um, I think, it $100 new. And you could buy those for $50 for like a year or two. But eventually, because they're out of print, they start to go up in price. So I doubled my money on my 20 copies of Super Mario 3D All-Stars already. So just, just something to keep in mind. Like, you can make money doing like this arbitrage shit with Nintendo Switch games, even if they're mass-produced and readily available right now, if you're just willing to hold on to them for a little while, you can make some pretty decent money. Buy the physical version of the game, and then it was kind of like, why did I do that? That one's getting pretty pricey, too. Yeah, it sure is. Did you use the Pokeball Plus on that? Yeah, I did. No, Mew's gone. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, so what makes... Dude, I have like 50 of those Pokeball Pluses. When they were like five bucks at Best Buy, I bought as many as humanly possible before they sold out. So valuable if you have a new one is that Mew is still on the Pokeball because that's the only way you can get Mew in that game. But yeah, some super rare stuff, limited run stuff. Just yeah, a bunch of 32x. It looks like over here. Yeah, you I have a box have a full, full of those Pokeball pluses. Except for um, two of the games. How I many games were on that system? Uh, 38. Oh, okay. Wow. That's another thing that you just don't see a whole lot. And folks, if you're feeling at all like, oh, there's so much good stuff in these bins that we're not getting to unpack, never fear. I'm going to dedicate a whole video to doing a deep dive into this collection, which I'm really excited for. So stay tuned for that. Please tell me I'm not editing that. Check this out, though. A complete Dance Dance Revolution mod. That's actually kind of cool. What the fuck? <laughs> Dance Dance Revolution Mario? What the fuck? That's actually kind of cool, if it was sealed. Uh, let's see. What Vanai Schizophrenia with the two? Them gators are beastly. Bears are ferocious as well. Yup. DJ Aftershock with the two. The scary dogs tend to be the African wild dogs. Oh, yeah, dude. Wild dogs are fucking crazy. Because if you see one, there's like nine others. And Juan with the one? Oh, my God. You're broke! You're fucking poor! 
Mario mix. Yeah, that's one of the older items in the collection. I've had that probably since I was like 18, so that's almost 20 years old. <laughs> but yeah, and um, some Toe Jam and Earl. Um, and this, you've still got it, or is this the box? Just the box for the one that you, oh no, there it is. Yeah, you have it here, so some things. Some things are a bit of a mismatch. Yeah. But I do have the new uh, Evercade system, so don't get mad at me, internet. Like, <laughs> Still a gamer, believe it or still, not. I'm still and a gamer. Some people may start calling you a fake gamer. I've always been called a fake gamer, but they'll probably call me. They, I mean, if that's if that's what they're calling me, that's one of the nicer <laughs> things that they're calling me. So <laughs> yeah, some some weird promo items for like the Toe Jam and Earl, um, the newer edition game that they did. And uh huh. They sent me like a promo box. Yeah, just a lot of a lot of weird odds and ends. Some boxed consoles. Yeah. Of course. A lot of PlayStation stuff here. Yeah. Well, what a lot of people may not realize is that you're actually keeping a good chunk of your collection still. Yeah, I mean, I'm keeping... Yeah, it's not really that much. Some things um, that I find to be reminiscent of, you know, of a certain event. Yeah. Or something that I can just put my finger on in memory of and be like, okay, I remember playing... I would sell that. This, you know, with this person, or this is why I want to keep this. So sure. more sentimental stuff. Yeah. Well, I'm curious what stuff you decided to keep versus sell. For that part of the conversation, though, we'll head downstairs to the collection shelf. That's right. Folks, by far the most common question that Jesus. I get asked when I do a video like these is, oh, I want that, I want that, I want that. Where will you be selling it? Where can I buy it? And the answer is that a lot of this stuff is going to get sold in our next Whatnot stream on Wednesday. The link to that's gonna be in the description. We were going to have it. Super Smash Brothers Melee, hell yeah. I still have my copy here, of that. Game Boy stream, and that is- I still have all my Game Boy stuff. Still happening. We're not Game Boy, GameCube. We're basically also taking a lot of RGT's stuff and combining it into one mega live auction. A lot of this stuff is going to be in the buy it now as well. So if you want to see what we've already listed, you can check the link now and a lot of stuff will be live. We'll basically be selling a ton of either bundles of games that are like low dollar or like some of the higher dollar like uncommon games as well. And a lot of obscure items that just for whatever reason uh, don't fit on Amazon. We'll have plushes, we'll have like random single games, we'll have emulation consoles, we'll have miscellaneous collectibles and box stuff. It's going to be a lot of fun. One of my favorite items that I found that we're going to have in this next show is a set of Street Fighter shot glasses. Yo, I know somebody who would buy that shit. <laughs> So thanks a bunch, Sean, for these. Uh, there's a lot of really fun items that are going to be in there. We'll also have the return of the Mission Switch, both cases while supplies last. These are our multi-game cases that you can put your loose Switch games in, which I'm really proud of. We kind of have the old and the new represented there. These guys are just $15, which is convenient because when you sign up for the first $15 time for $15 one, dollars blue, for a get case? Bucks in credit that you can spend not just- Dude, I paid fucking $10 for this fucking 24 game switch case that's like hard plastic closes with magnets and has like silicone fucking sleeves for each individual game that's wild bro just on one of these but on literally anything that we list it's going to be a great time hope to see you guys there and thanks a bunch to whatnot for sponsoring so folks this is it the iconic RGT85 basement and gamer setup. Looks pretty incredible. This is the behind the scenes where the magic happens. Thanks for having me down here. Yeah, apologies, uh, apologies it's not super clean. <laughs> no, that's I... all right. Hey, it's it's authentic. Tell me about, you have a pretty incredible toy collection that I honestly didn't really realize initially. Should get rid of that uh, what too. was it that made you decide not to sound like a greedy, greedy reseller here, but uh, not to sell the toys, but to sell the games? So, um, you know, I didn't really have many toys growing up. Like, with an X-Men thing. You know, some kids had like five, six of them. I had like one, I had an X-Man. I yeah. had a Ninja Turtle. I like toys because I feel like, you know, with a video game, it's kind of like you could still experience the, the full experience that a video game has to offer you via emulation. Right. Whereas a toy, you don't, you know, you don't get that same sort of feeling. You don't get the, the, the packaging and the, the actual look of the toy. I used to never really, like there was a time, like when I first started filming here, a lot of these toys, yeah, I've never really gotten the appeal of toys, personally. I like cards, because they're, like, condensed, and I can put them in a box and pull them out if I want to look at them, but then they don't take up any room.
toys I did not have. You know, yeah. this is just stuff I've actually started. I guess I, I still am a collector. I just moved on to toys. Like the Hasbro's over there, I, I was actively collecting those for a little while. And I just have like the more expensive. Cause it's like, you know, these old toys. It's like gold, you know, it's <laughs> like gold video games. Like everything is worth stupid amounts of money. But yeah, I just felt like the toys, you know, cause like the, the thing of it is, I'm not necessarily selling this stuff for money. Wait, hold on. Right. Toys, you know, cause like the, the thing of it is, is that a toilet? Is stupid amounts of money, but yeah, I just felt like the toys. Right here, is that like a toilet that this shit's sitting you on? You know, cause like the, the thing of it is, I'm not necessarily selling this. I don't know what that is, bro. It looks kind of like a toilet tank. Stuff for money. It's right. not like, it's not like I'm, I'm, I need, you know, I have some big I need thing that, that money. I need to, to, to pay off or something like that where I need to sell all my stuff. Sure. It's more so just, I just wanted to sell it because it's like someone else can experience, you know, someone, cause you know, the games that are on the shelf, they've been shelf games since I yeah. moved here. Let's be realistic. 99% of the stuff has just been sitting on the shelf cause I'm always doing other stuff and having to dig out a console, having to dig out something just to play an individual game. Yeah. Cause I didn't have a good setup like that. It's That's like, cool. you know, it's not worth it to me. You know, I'd rather it's someone else have a chance to experience a game than it just sit on the shelf and rot away. Totally. Yeah, and my completely unbiased perspective is that honestly, as much as people like take issue with and make fun of flipping games, like you also could make a case that like to hoard a whole bunch of stuff that you're never gonna use is also not the best thing to do. No, cause I mean, it's just, it's just like literally like this shelf, this stuff has not moved yeah. since I moved in. And it's like, well, why aren't you playing your old games? Because I have a million ways to play these games. <laughs> right. Every, my, my phone can play these games and it's a lot. Yeah, you're probably your fucking Apple watch could play those games more convenient than digging out a system. And there's nothing wrong, let me get this out of the way, there's nothing wrong with collecting, there's nothing wrong with having your collection and playing the old stuff. But totally. Just, just for me personally, you know, it wasn't it wasn't a priority anymore. So I'm really curious, I wanna know, cause this is the last shelf of stuff that has not been boxed up. So we'll get to that in a little bit. This is the shelf of games that you did decide to keep for your personal collection. So Correct. walk me through some of these items and what significance they might have to you and why Night they're trap. still here. So pretty much all of these games who doesn't I have like an, old an trap, emotional right? connection with just based on the fact that like I could think of a specific memory of something and yeah. tie it with the game. So like Double Dragon, I remember this uh, family was babysitting me and they had a, a kid who was like nine or 10 years old and I was like six or seven. They're like, you ever played Double Dragon before? <laughs> no, what's that? So we played it there and I was blown away by it. Super Mario Brothers, first NES game I played. Yeah. Tyson's Punch-Out, stuff like that. The Zeldas, I just kept because they're crispy, honestly. Ken Griffey's yeah, winning run. Nice. I remember going into KB Toys and you hear that that theme song that it has. No, stop this. No, stop. And you would just hear it all throughout KB Toys. Like, what the hell is that? <laughs> and then you'd see the game. Uh, the Gold Edition, Collector's Edition is actually a funny story. I came home from middle school when I was uh, 13. And there was a package from Nintendo at the door addressed to me. What? And I opened it up and it was- I saw there with the FUD, the only disc I have left out of nostalgia is Halo 1 through 3. Yeah, it makes sense. I don't know. I don't have an issue with people having like games, but it's like, bruh. The point of having like all that shit is crazy. That's not, I was like, oh, they sent Unless this to it's me sealed. because I'm a fan of Nintendo and I call my- <laughs> If it's sealed, have as many physical games as you want. Or if they're Switch games, cause like, you know, these little chips are pretty fucking easy to deal with. <laughs> Mom at work, I was like, you'll never believe what they sent me. And she was like, no, I, I bought that just because I, maybe I don't have a digital copy of it or something like that, or just yeah. I, I really like it. You know, a lot of it doesn't have. Like, Ooh, man of good taste. This game is fucking great. If you guys don't have it, Kingdoms of Amalur Re Reckoning. I shill for this game all the fucking time but it is very good. Have like a super emotional attachment to it or anything like that. Like, you know, my, I have a, um, a PC that emulates all my stuff that I have set up like a TV, like, you know, like a console setup. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I can play pretty much everything that you're seeing here on these shelves on that, but it's like, I still want to have some things, you know, a lot of Sega Genesis memories growing up, huge Garfield fan. I remember renting Shaq Fu a ton. Yeah. Um, Sonic Spinball, always just loved the soundtrack to that game. Greatest Heavyweights, me and my grandpa used to play this game. It was the only game he 
would look at because it had boxing people and stuff on it. 32X, this is what made me fall in love with the system, these two games. Yeah, um, okay, so two out of the 38 are staying with you apparently. Yeah. Um, are these manuals? What are these, guides? These are, oh, this isn't even set up, folks. This is the complete Sega 32X guide written by Sean Long, available on Amazon right now. Whoa, are you see? okay, <laughs> it sounds like a plug. I genuinely did not know that. That's so cool, dude. Yeah, I'll give you one. Yeah, I, I got bored and I wrote a book on the 32X uh, a couple <laughs> years ago. Wow. Well, uh, yeah, if you have played all the games, you're you're the expert. Yeah, but yeah, like most of this stuff, like you know, Chenmu, that was a, a, an amazing game for me. Grandia 2, for some reason, I stayed up for like 26 hours straight and played that game. <laughs> These are important. These were given to me by a fan. Milton, shout outs to Milton. Panzer and Dragon Force, like just. Jesus Christ, man! Sixteen hundred bucks for a fucking pre-owned game. Bruh. It, it, it just blew holy shit blew me away it was like that those two games like if i had to sell everything those two games would be the last games that i sold the ones that have like the real emotional weight not just to the games but also to how you got them right right yeah bro what game is so fucking good that you're gonna spend 1600 bucks for a fucking pre-owned copy emulate that shit yeah. But yeah, you know, just a, a smaller downside. And I'm still buying stuff. Like, I'm still buying games that I specifically want to have for whatever <laughs> Sonic reason. Forces, just, I don't need bro. a bunch of stuff that just sits there and does nothing. Totally understand. Well, let's make our way over to the NES Super Nintendo, basically the old school Nintendo shelf here. And I'm actually going to, as we're packing these up, ask you some questions about these. Yeah, sure. All right, so as we're starting to pack some of this stuff up, are there any like specific gems that I should be aware of? One thing that I love to see is all of the top labels <laughs> on these. There's which, a very, very funny story. Oh my gosh, on, on N64 games makes a huge difference just in terms of like visibility and being able to see a lot of games at once. As far as like the hidden gems and stuff Bro, are concerned, oh, I would say most of it. Off. You know, you got like Mischief Makers Jesus on the N64. Yeah. That's a super underrated game. Uh, Mickey Speedway USA is actually really good. It's a Dog, why is he a white guy? sagging in 2023 dude that's like so fucking 15 years ago if even you were gonna sag but you're white you shouldn't sag a um mario kart clone yeah that like nobody ever really talks about i don't know why huh. um but there's like super famicom stuff in here there's famicom stuff in here famicom disc system stuff yeah so a lot of a lot of different sort of um games hell pokemon snap I, I actually really like that game i'm surprised I, what's your favorite n64 game if you had to say super mario 64 yeah because i mean that was just the one that just blew me away yeah it was it was kid. genre defining for sure we will change the system why did you decide specifically to sell this way? Because I was taking a look at your comment section when you uh, announced that you were going to sell to me, and it seemed split just about 50-50 of people saying, hey, Phoenix Resale, love that guy, and people saying, how Wait, could you- Wait, hold on, go back. Look, this dude's name is Phoenix Resale. If I could never hear Phoenix Resale's name again, it would have been a great life. Why the fuck is your name Phoenix Resale then, you fucking dipshit? Of people saying, hey, Phoenix Resale, love Sorry, that. Sorry, I just saw that as it passed. Guy. And people saying, how could you? He's a dirty reseller. He'll scam you. He only cares about money. All right, so first and foremost. What's wrong with that? Most everyone who is selling retro video games is a reseller. <laughs> this isn't new product that people are getting. Right. Yeah, you're not getting it from a fucking distributor. No, I mean, if people don't understand, it's not easy to sell, you know, a decent amount of games. You know, if you're talking about a handful of games, everyone's lining up. But once you start talking about like, like bigger money and stuff, it, it's a lot of people don't want to do that. They're still holding out in the mentality of, well, you know, maybe I'll get a Facebook deal or I'll get like a collection or an estate. And it's like, yeah, you might. You yeah. know what, that might happen to you, but more than likely, you know, no. So I had talked to several different people um, while I was, you Ooh, know, trying to- GameCube games, man. I would no, actually- No, so make... I had talked to several- I should have bought a bunch of GameCube games. I remember when they were sitting in GameStop for like 10 bucks. 
Those things are so fucking expensive now, even pre-owned. Different people. Um, while I was, you know, trying to, go to figure everything out, and honestly, you were the easiest one to deal with, and you gave me a very fair price that I was happy with and you're happy with, and really at the end of the day, when you're talking about vintage anything, you know, the only value Minecraft. is what you that's actually probably pretty you know if, like if you have something that's worth five hundred dollars and somebody offers you a hundred dollars for it and you, you're happy with that hundred dollars yeah that's all that matters at the end of the day now granted yep. you paid a little bit more than five hundred dollars for this collection but because <laughs> you and you've mentioned publicly the overall value of the collection right not really but i mean <laughs> it's in the fucking title i know I stopped inventorying stuff and it was like a brand new cares. car, Let's you see. know, sort of, sort of value. And they I was say like, that well, value? you know, that's anyone who has any sort of knowledge about this stuff, they could probably take a pretty good guess at, you know, a, a decent value amount for it. Sure. And uh, yeah, we're, we're not going to get into specific numbers in this video. I try. We're not going to get into specific numbers. 40K video game collection. I'm trying to be as transparent as I can, but those of you who watch me, you have an idea of the kind of percentages that I pay for this kind of stuff. And more than anything, I just... I would assume he pays 50-60%, if even that. Maybe even less. I mean, that's the wonderful thing about... Oh, dude, I wish I had those type of, like, fucking connections where like people would hit me up and be like hey man i'm trying to sell my fucking collection and then i'd be like all right i can give you 50 percent." like dude i would do that shit all day every day i just appreciate you having me out this is honestly i can say the craziest collection that i've ever bought oh yeah man no problem thanks for uh taking it off my hands and being easy about it yeah you know i sold i tried to sell some stuff um when i bought my place just just some basic stuff and it was so it was like pulling teeth and it wasn't even that big of a lot it was just like some random ds rpgs and stuff like that and like all the people that i thought would be jumping all over it they wanted nothing to no, do with i've it. had a couple people in the card community reach out and be like oh yeah can you uh buy some of my psa return i was like yeah sure but i'm not gonna pay full price so i got it for i think 70 percent but yeah i mean which is fine because after you know 13 percent fees i'm making a 17 percent you know profit of the sale price so not bad yeah, it is. It can be surprising too, also how much of an issue cash flow can be for video game right. stores if you yeah. have a collection that. Dude, you're... that's the reason I was able to buy that person's PSA submission for a fucking huge discount is because he didn't have enough cash. He needed cash immediately. Talking about five figures, a lot of them just don't necessarily have that stocked up because you know running a game store is really expensive. Exactly. All right, folks, the shelf has been cleared, and now it's time to move in to room number three, which is, it looks like your arcade one-up collection room. I don't know if I've ever seen a one-up collection this big with the corresponding posters. Yeah, that was an important thing. Like, I really needed to make sure I have the posters. I have a, there's fancy, this has got the LED lights, but the remote is usually there. So. Okay, but and no. then also a Legends pinball machine, which you were showing me yesterday, Yeah, is basically an electronic pinball machine where you can do all kinds of different boards in one and it looks really good i was surprised at how convincing this machine looks to like a real pinball machine yeah it's really cool i've never really been like super deep into pinball but they wanted to send one out um to review it on the channel and i was like yeah that, that's perfect for you know the the arcade room that i'm trying to build here yeah. you know so yeah it's a, it's a super cool machine I, I definitely really like it and they've added in a bunch of tables you could side load tables and stuff like that so it's very versatile yeah and if anyone's curious, I am not going to be buying these arcade one-up machines. These are staying these in are Sean's staying. collection, yeah. which I'm honestly thrilled with because I don't want, I don't want to transport all these. Half of them would probably break on the way back to Kentucky. Yeah, um, those but things take me I through some of the like boxes dog that shit we still quality. have left. So um, this is kind. Of, there's kind of a lot of smorgasbord here, but there's a lot of cool items. There's a lot of cool items. Ooh, I would say. In all this right, one. underneath the pinball machine here. Yeah, because I I had family come into town while Dude, I'm trying to settle. So much stuff shit. up so we've got some box super famicom games here those i don't oh, care I about i have so many joy <laughs> dude i have a fuck ton of those 
I wonder what those are. Icons are coming out of my ears. That's a good one. This yeah. Good one. So this is a Wonder I have Swan. A ton of those Final Fantasy boy, boy. edition of the Wonder Swan. Whoa. So there's the system and there's Holy the game. Holy cow. Zelda I actually Joy bought Cons. this um, off a guy who just sells stuff from Japan on Facebook. Yeah. And it, it works great. There's another game in here somewhere. Hey, um, but yeah, that's cool. Game Boy Light. I don't know. Ooh, 120. Nice. Have you ever seen one of these? Oh, look, you got Castlevania Belmont's Revenge in there, too. That's a good game to show off, but it has a uh, Indiglo screen on it. Oh, oh cool. wow. Yeah, it only came out in Japan, though, which is is weird, but <laughs> it was kind of the timing of it because they also had dropped the um, Game Boy Color around yeah. the same time, so. It's somehow, it looks as bad as a Game Boy, but just brighter. Yes, yes. <laughs> but they're, they're super cool systems. I, I really like them. This is a uh, Knights premium pack. I'm a big fan of Knights, yeah. so you would think I would keep this, but I'm just kind of like, eh, you know, whatever. So this is the, they re-released it for the PS2 and then put it in an art book there and charge yeah. people a bunch of money. We've got a, Dude, I have to be honest, one time I found some of these in a game store and I totally thought they were VHSs. Wow, oh, really? And Rip totally roasted me. <laughs> yeah, you are pretty dumb. This is a, this what is an fuck? item that I overpaid for when it first came out, but thankfully it's gone up in value. Okay. And, and like, I, I'm so happy for it. It was a 30th anniversary, I am 8-bit, Street Fighter 2 cartridge for the Super Nintendo. So like, has a little cool art and stuff. It's Street Fighter 2 for the Super Nintendo, an $8 game. And I paid like, I don't even remember how much it was, but for the longest time, like nobody wanted them. Yeah. And then thankfully, because the cartridge is red. Yeah. And like that's a ooh, red cartridge. <laughs> red but Street Fighter. Thankfully, it's gone up in value. I need a 35th version DSP of ESP wants Fighter that Street Fighter 2. Fighter 2. My collection. Ooh, I had one of these. I actually still have one of these. Superboy. Yeah, I like those. I like these systems. Yeah, they're really cool. They're, they're basically like a Switch, but for Super Nintendo. Yep. Very, very cool stuff. Um, fun stuff like that. There's a couple random games that I found as That's I was going cool. along. This is pretty cool. Boxed version of um, Virtual Cop 2 with the stunner. I actually paid like 30 some odd dollars for this a couple years ago, and then it's just skyrocketed in price. Yeah, I mean, even just the box art is super cool on that. Yeah. So this is kind of a smorgasbord one of just random Ooh, stuff. Mega SG. Yeah, nice. that's a Mega SG and box. Analog system. If you ever wanted to play original SNES cards, on your Super Nintendo Mini. I've got, oh, we've got okay. you covered. We've got you covered. <laughs> Very niche item. No kidding. But somebody thought, I need to make this. Yeah, um, there's a ton of. Random, oh. <laughs> <laughs> what the I don't fuck? even know where those came from. That's the thing, dude. Bruh. I found so much stuff, I had no idea. Like where, I'm pretty sure a buddy of mine sent me that. That is disturbing. <laughs> And you're probably wondering, well, <laughs> the wrapped the fuck, Christmas dude. present. This is a, a GameCube. That shit's cursed. Yeah, but kind of a special one. No way. Yeah. No wait, Does this work? Oh yeah. It's it's minty. For those of you guys who don't know, this. Did you is, not know that that was in there? I didn't. I had no idea. Like, I look at when I'm looking at a price charting list. The primary things that I look at are like I'll kind of skim the games. I don't look at every single thing, but the biggest thing is average price per unit, okay. right? To kind of figure out how much work am I going to have to put in. By the way, this lot as a whole is 1,300 items. Yeah. I don't. Like, no, 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 no. It was 1,300 before I. So 1300 hmm That's pretty expensive honestly Stop counting it's it's Although he got like that's what like $18 a game more than that. Oh my, okay. Because I got to a point with it where I, I kind of turned into saw, Jigsaw and I was like, we're going to play a game. I want to play a game. I was like, this is what it's worth right now. I still have, I haven't even gotten to, because I hadn't even gotten to the consoles when oh, wow. I sent that figure. And I was like, this is what it's worth right now. If, if you go ahead and agree to a price like this, it's yours. And, wow. and he was uh, he was the one who jumped on it. Well, I, like, I appreciate perfect. a ton you adding more value in here. And, and more than anything, I mean, this is crazy. This was Panasonic's DVD and GameCube player. Yep, I picked it up at uh, Long Island Retro Gaming Expo um, back in 2018, I think. Uh huh. And I actually got like a super good deal on it. And um, he That's had no, neat. the thing of it was, he had no way to test it. Like he didn't have a GameCube power cable yeah or anything like that and i'm like well does it work and he was like yeah and i was like well it, you know i'm gonna look at your business name here and if it doesn't work i'm gonna hunt you down because <laughs> it was a it was a very fair price but it, it works great man it's That's amazing it's
thing. I have the Eon HD adapter for the GameCube somewhere in there. So I would, I actually have a video on the channel where I, we, John uh, Spawnwave came over, we did the, uh, we had to modify it a little bit to fit this and we yeah. put in the HDMI cable because it didn't come with the component cables, which is like a big high dollar item, but it's yeah. like, HDMI is better. Anyway, did, it, so did it come with the controller? No. I wish. Hey, I can't complain. If I'm getting the Panasonic Q, like, wow, that's so cool. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a great system. And you know, all the lights, the lights up and all that stuff, it works great. So yeah, definitely one of the, the cooler items that I've amassed over time. But yeah. once again, if I want to play GameCube games, I'll upscale them versus emulation. <laughs> <laughs> Take that emulation fans. Ooh, I think you mentioned this yep. maybe yesterday. This, uh, to piece everything together here, this is the, okay, so this isn't the modified one. The modified one is in another GameCube. This is the HDMI adapter for the GameCube. So if you want to, you could theoretically, in one of the GameCubes that you're getting, uh -huh. it's a black one, there's one with the top of this missing and part of it cut off because on this, you needed to have, oh, hold on, Riff, Fix this. <laughs> Edit this out. Yeah, so this is a, a GameCube. That one's just adapter. standard, standard edition, basically. Right, and not the not the hacked up one that we did. Sure. <laughs> what? Now, as we take a look at one of our final boxes here, and feel free to interrupt me, I want to ask you another semi-controversial question, which yeah. is. Are you worried that you'll regret this? No, I, people keep telling me you're gonna regret this. I want people to be able to experience games no matter if they want to play it originally yeah. on a CRT via an RF adapter or if they want to you know, emulate them or stuff like that. I am all about the gaming experience and as long as I can play the games, I don't care. Yeah, you know, I don't. well, and that's clear also yeah, based man. on the kind of that's what it means to be a gamer. Stuff that you have in your collection, like so many different like upscalers and like various ways to play different games and enhance games. And uh, I, I just, your appreciation no, for being able to play the games themselves is very evident. A little Game Genie, Genesis 3, which for some reason is going up in price. But yeah, you'll, you'll find tons of just all sorts of stuff all throughout. Who knows what thrown in. Yeah, I don't have the back for that, but the adapters. Okay, there. yeah, that's the expensive part. It was fun while it lasted but nothing lasts forever it's time to move on and yeah philosophical Philosoph for the I last mean, part of the video i dude. mean this is how it is man like I, I i don't i regret nothing in life also at least to me i am like i think i have a little bit more of that collector's instinct like part of it for me is i also love going back out and recollecting stuff in the past i've sold part of my gamecube collection after that series ended a lot of people gave me heat for it i sold about 40 percent of it kept 60 percent that i really love if i ever feel like oh man i really want to have those games back like i'll get to have more fun going and collecting them again right yeah and so i mean it's just it's cool with me man it, it's cool with me at the end of the day it's all about video games and i know we have different you know, people who love emulation, people who yeah. love physical goods. I don't understand, you know. Nah, I'm not jealous, dude, because the thing is, is I don't even want to play these old games emulated. Like, I don't, I have zero desire to play, like, NES and SNES and N64 games or PS2 games. It's just, like, I have zero fucking desire to play old shit. Just keeping it a buck fifty. Like, as old as I would go is certain games on the GameCube, but even then 90% of them wouldn't want to play. The great Rodney King said, why can't we all just get along? Like, come on, man. <laughs> Can we all get along? Last thing, before I let you go, before we pack all this stuff up, I really appreciate you having me out here and yeah, selling me all this stuff. I have a small token gift for you from my homeland before I let you go. Okay, okay. Be right back. All right. <laughs> so, Sean, you're obviously mostly a basketball man. I didn't realize we actually both share a little bit of a baseball background. Uh, and this is just a little something that they make where I'm from that I got for you commemorate the event. Oh yeah, this is cool. I actually needed a bat just in case like anyone tried to break into my house. Right, a little home invasion. Yeah, this is nice. I oh, cool. Shotgun. Okay, yeah, it's got a little thing on there, a little engraving. That's awesome, dude. Yeah, happy to. I thought I thought it'd be a nice thing to at least remember this whole experience. Yeah. By. I, I really appreciate you, dude. No, dude, I really appreciate you, man. Came out here for collection and ended up leaving with a cool new friend. Now I'm gonna beat his brain then. <laughs> all those DS games. 
shit, that's well, money. Folks, everything's finally packed up. I've got a long drive ahead of me. But don't you- Yo, I didn't know he had all those DS and 3D. Those are fucking money, bro. Don't worry, we're gonna be making a couple of detours along the way, which I think you guys will enjoy. That, will be that shit's money. Videos. If you guys have a collection you want to sell, my email Jesus will be in the Christ, description. Man. I'm happy to look, at, all that look at it. And if you want to see the second largest collection I've ever bought- Bro, what the fuck? That's way bigger. Look at all those fuck. Oh my god, man. How do you even like live like that? How do you amass that much shit? That's crazy. I like I just don't know how you can live with all that clutter, dude. Like I know I have a bunch of clutter, but eventually I take it to my storage unit. Like Oh my god, I just couldn't live with like all my tables being loaded with like stacks of fucking video games and like, you know, every shelf space taken up by rows and rows and rows of video games, like boxes all over the place of video games. Yeah, these guys could buy like homes without their gaming collection. They could literally buy like multiple houses in a lot of cases. Because like I guarantee you like that guy who had like all those 360 like video games and shit probably bought them all for like 40, 50 bucks a piece. And now they're worth like five dollars. So it's like Bruh. Yeah, all that money lost. Ooh, it's just depressing. It's like opening Pokemon cards, man. Don't do it. Keep them sealed. Sealed only goes up. Opening always goes down. <laughs> you will always lose money opening cards. I don't know, man. Collecting cards or more better in collecting video games? What? Collecting cards is way better. I put my cards in a box underneath my bed and I don't fucking see them. Collecting video games, you gotta have, like, shelf space. It takes a way more, like, room. Gaming and selling are different hobbies? Eh, I guess. I don't know. Oh, that two human game they gave away free on Xbox. Shit. All right, what else should we check out? Somebody said check out Dreamcast guy's new post. Why are games skipping Xbox? I was. Oh my god. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god, jeez. All right, don't get mad in the comments section, but today we're going to discuss a very tough topic, which is. Why is it that so many games are just completely skipping Xbox? We're not just talking first parties or exclusives. Obviously, Uncharted and Zelda are never coming to Microsoft's console, but actually consider all the really weird AA, triple A's, the indies, the third party stuff that is never going to exist on any Wait, Xbox. Hold on. The indies, the third. Shit. Oh, he, that one's still sealed. Good. That's actually a rare game now. Third-party stuff that is that never going to exist or whatever the on fuck. any Xbox platform. And people are starting to say, what's really going on? I mean, the Xbox, the sales aren't the best, but it is still a big spot to go. And game developers, they're not even bothering to acknowledge it. They're not even porting it for what feels like some free extra cash. Let's discuss this big, messy problem. What's up, gamers? Dreamcast guy here. Hi, hope you're having a great day. If you could like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Weaponized schizophrenia with the two Dreamcast guys about to sacrifice your newborn girl. Uh oh, man. That's okay. It was a girl. Now, the motivation for this video is actually this tweet I saw kind of going around Xbox Twitter with a lot of people extremely enraged. So there's this little French studio that's called Microids. They make like little cutesy RPGs and stuff. And right now 
they're working on what seems like a decently budgeted inspector gadget game and as you can see it's coming to the PlayStation decently 5, budgeted the PlayStation 4 the Nintendo what, Switch like and PC but obviously not the Xbox it's never coming to the Xbox and people are actually saying are we going to get an explanation why is it coming to everything except that and so they replied if the demand is strong enough we will consider the possibility of offering the title on Xbox. And a lot of people are straight up actually saying that this is a terrible response. Nobody wants to fucking play that shit on Xbox. Oh my God. I stand with Israel and Ukraine. Oh my, what a fucking drone, bro. Literal fucking Xbox. I don't understand why the Xbox community has to beg for your games. I'm pretty sure the demand is evenly split. A lot of people are saying this. You are an embarrassing developer. Says the guy with the fucking Ukraine flag and his fucking username. Jesus Christ, man. I mean, a lot of people are actually just kind of, if anything, sort of thinking that this is just a weird thing to even put out as a public statement. This is a crappy response. You should do this regardless. But actually, over on the more professional Xbox journalism side of Twitter, even they seem to be a bit aghast. This is where we're at with Xbox as a platform now. Developers think the platform isn't big enough to even be worth considering. And a lot of people are just sort of mulling that over. A lot of the replies are a mix of shock and awe. Because keep in mind, even though Xbox sales are way behind the Nintendo Switch and obviously tens of millions of consoles below something like the PlayStation 5, the Xbox Series X is of consoles. That was interesting, this point. I kind of feel like the popularity of Game Pass makes this tricky. Developers seem hesitant without a Game Pass deal, which not all games can receive. The retail presence is also shrinking it's frustrating to see when there should yeah exactly people on xbox don't want to buy games like this anymore they just want to get it free in game pass something like the playstation 5 the xbox series x is still the fastest selling xbox console ever i mean that this is part of what's so weird about the fact that everybody's skipping xbox is that microsoft is not new to this they've been making games now for decades and I mean, if you can make successful cash off of games like Gears of War and Halo, it's really weird that now everybody has sort of unanimously decided to disregard the Xbox. But I think there's actually an extra layer. That's because Gears of War and Halo fucking suck now. ...to this that's extra tasty to me, which is the theory that John Lineman has been putting out. So this is the guy who's very famous from Digital Foundry. Does is a lot this of fucking dipshit still saying there's a stock shortage of Xboxes? That is such a lie. Breakdowns. I mean, the guy is way more educated than I am, and he dropped this interesting little tidbit. I kind of feel like the popularity of Game Pass is what makes this tricky. Developers seem hesitant to put games out without that Game Pass deal, which not all games can receive. The retail presence is also shrinking. It's frustrating to see when there should be a way to satisfy everybody. Now, there have been a lot of leaks and stuff talking about the fact that if you make a game and Microsoft decides to give you that Game Pass paycheck, it's pretty lucrative. A lot of times it does seem like they cover a big chunk of your total development cost to put it on Game Pass forever. That's part of how they're getting so many crazy indie games. Am I calling Jez a dipshit? Yeah, he's one of the biggest ex fucking Xbox on the entirety of the internet, bro. It'd be like saying JTEC TV is intelligent. Yes. I think console fanboys are fucking dipshits. On Game Pass. The dude literally works for a company called Windows Central. His job is to shill for Microsoft. <laughs> if Xbox does not do well, he does not have a fucking job. He has a financial interest in, you know, making sure Xbox is seen in a positive light. Because if nobody gives a fuck about Xbox, he doesn't have a job. No, he's a literal shill, bro. Pass is because... I mean, they're uh, willing to pay <laughs> the cost to put it there forever. I like this tweet specifically on that topic, which says that this is the Game Pass. That'd double be like saying, yeah, guys, I work for Dual Shockers and I'm not a PlayStation fanboy.
like Bruh. fledged sword. Great for the titles which are able to join it, but slots are limited. And if you can't, are the sales good enough to justify a port? Now, I have seen some numbers kicked around that it does cost perhaps millions and millions of dollars minimum a lot of times to port a... Yeah, Dual Shockers is a website that does video game news and reviews. Uh, I saw the five. Jez Gordon lives with his girlfriend's parents at his age from his own words on stream. I can't listen to someone. Yeah, I wouldn't either, man. That's fucking sad. Decently sized game. Not even living with your own parents, living with your girlfriend's parents so you can be a professional games journo. Another platform. So I think a lot of times if you're making a game, it does sometimes come down to just raw math. All right. uh, How many copies do we actually think we're going to sell for this? Okay. If we think it's going to make a big financial blowback, it's going to make its cash in droves on a bigger platform if we port it to the PlayStation 5 and the Nintendo Switch that's already 35 million consoles that's 120 million consoles when it comes to Nintendo Switch there is a big install base that could possibly buy it we don't need the Game Pass paycheck to actually make our money back on that port whereas it does seem like Xbox gamers just don't buy stuff. A lot of Xbox gamers either wait for Game Pass or they wait for a sale. Dude, software sales on Xbox don't even fucking chart anymore. Like, for all the people hyping up Hi-Fi Rush, that game didn't even chart in the top 30 of NPD. Nobody fucking bought it. The game peaked at what, like 700 players on Steam? Nobody buys games on Xbox anymore. They just play shit in Game Pass buy it used which i'm not even hating i mean you want to be cheap hell yeah save that dollar Fuck but yeah. if you're coming a from a game. retail standpoint you're trying to sell your game you're trying to sell it as upfront and as high cost as possible to make your money back maybe xbox is seeming less and less like an island you want to land on like this so they're deciding to skip it but they still put it on the playstation and the nintendo switch how did they gauge demand Because PlayStation and Nintendo Switch have over 100 million copies fucking sold of each console, duh. ...game that nobody knew was coming. It does seem to be happening more and more. There has to be something driving it. It's... Uh, the fact that both of those consoles have over 100 million units of sales? It's not like they'd make these decisions out of spite. Any insight on what's going on? And, uh, Nick, he's the founder of Xbox Era. He says, I'm not sure... With these Xbox Japanese developers, like games coming from Japan and selling on Xbox, they don't really sell. Historically, they're not exactly major hits. But instances like this, a tiny French developer making an Inspector Gadget game, it seems a lot less clear. Maybe fishing for a Game Pass deal, but who knows? Now, I think it actually is connected to something like this. Uh, Square Enix has been talking a bit about Final Fantasy 16. Dur- yeah, this is interesting. During the big press tour. FF16 is coming out here in a matter of weeks. Um, I'm so freaking excited. I'm about to rip my freaking eyes out. I'm so, so, so ridiculously yep. hyped for Final Fantasy 16. I'm very excited. But what's kind of fascinating is that it will only exist <sighs> on PlayStation forever. They're doing a PC port down the road. We don't exactly know so how it long. So won't always like exist on PlayStation forever. Review, but apparently... According to he literally contradicted himself a fucking sentence later, but it's all right, Dreamcast guy. I'm excited for the game too, and I will be playing it on the Goat Station Five, right? Ha ha ha. Square Enix PlayStation offered a deal for exclusivity, and Xbox just would not match it. Now there's some extra delicious details that apparently, when it comes to these kinds of deals, PlayStation exclusivity is extremely generous and beneficial for developers and publishers. Now, from what it sounds like, usually they- Yeah, PlayStation comes in, they have their marketing wing, which is the best in the fucking business. I don't care what anybody says. Sony knows how to market their games better than anyone else. They come in, they advertise your game for you, send in developers to help you finish up the development process of the game. And then on top of that, they help pay for development in some cases too. So literally, Sony's- 
like exclusivity deals are not just like, oh, put it on PlayStation. It's, oh, we will literally help you make this game a success. And it works. People are happy with it. That's why they keep coming back. Do a lot of big marketing contracts. Now, you're not even going to believe these numbers, but a lot of times when it comes to major exclusives like God of War Ragnarok or Forza Horizon and Halo and stuff like that, these publishers spend sometimes tens of millions of dollars actually advertising the game. Oh, they spend more than that, man. Hundreds of thousands. Itself, you know, putting out commercials, hiring actors, doing the CG, putting out a demo, making sure it's blasted on every single Twitch ad or the ad break I'm going to put in the video right here. I think that's interesting because a lot of times now, if somebody says we will cover marketing cost, that means it's more than just putting your game in a state of play. That actually means massive money spent. And it sounds like PlayStation, when they're actually trying to do these exclusivity contracts, they say, we'll advertise, we'll lend you developers to make sure your game is finished and fun. There have been some rumors that apparently PlayStation in the past has even given their game engine to people just straight up. Like if you are making a game and you're about to make the sequel, PlayStation will just give you a high dollar expensive PS5 dev kit so that you're more incentivized to build it first on PlayStation. It's wild to think about, but I do genuinely think that this mostly just boils down to the fact that right now, I just think that right now Xbox is in a strange spot because Game Pass has become this poisoned chalice. If you get a Game Pass deal, it's going to be a huge success. I mean, a lot of times it seems like these games, people are very accepting, people are very excited. If you get a game on Game Pass, it's going to actually get Xbox gamers to at least try it out. But if you don't do it, if you just rely on sales, people actually buying it on Xbox, I just don't think that's ever gonna be a big thing ever again. I nope, just it's not. personally believe Xbox and Microsoft have conditioned their customer base to not buy video games, which is going to bite them in the ass so fucking hard when it comes to these third-party developers and when they start really losing in terms of market share. It is going to bite them in the ass incredibly fucking hard because you have literally crafted a fucking customer base of bargain bin hunters. And there's nothing more that developers fucking hate than people who buy pre-owned games and wait for deep, deep discounts. They want you to go out there and buy games day one for the actual fucking retail price. So, yeah, no, Xbox people will be treated like second-class citizens by third-party developers because third-party developers are treated like shit, essentially, in how much money they get from the Xbox platform by the user base. But it's just the way it is, man. Like, Game Pass is a double-edged sword. Like, it's a great fucking deal, but at the same time, you have turned your premium console into a bargain bin. And that's just the way it is, man. It's like going to fucking Costco and expecting people to pay full price for something. It's like, no, you go there for a discount. <laughs> Like, that's the whole fucking point. Like, if Costco started charging, like, $15 for a fucking pizza, everybody would just say, like, well, I'm not buying a pizza from Costco. Fuck that. I'm here for cheap. <laughs> like, Costco pizza is not great, but it's cheap. Like, at that point, you could just go eat out. So, it's just... They've put themselves in this fucking corner where they have to be the bargain bin of gaming now. And, you know, that's unfortunate. And third-party developers, you know, may or may not like that. I saw that with the five. Sony is now the publisher of Stellar Blade. It didn't used to be. When it was called Project Eve, it's like Bloodborne. It ain't coming to Xbox. Oh, shit. Interesting. So they really went in and helped with development. That's good. Oski Waski with the five. The ad break that I'm going to put in right here. The ad blocker is doing its job right. Hell yeah, man. Fire. Let me see. Gaming. Oh, open your wallets, fucking. 
I thought I fixed that one. Open your wallet oh, there and give me all of your monies. I don't know why it wouldn't work. I was getting the yellow little fucking symbol and then it worked. Delta Gold with the five. Ch wait, child predator ruin runs from police after touching a minor from Walmart. Reddit mod got a run. All right, we can check it out real quick. Xbox gamers don't buy games. And I feel like the... Hey, I buy games, but only when they're like 90% off. <laughs> Alta res the one. You're broke! You're fucking poor! Numbers back that up. Sales charts kind of just show. If a game is coming to Game Pass, they'll play it, they'll love it, they'll post about it, they'll brag about it, they'll tell their friends to subscribe to Game Pass. But if you're some whoop-de-doo double-A game trying to... Dude, it's just like every one of these motherfuckers who's like gushing over Hi-Fi Rush, for example. You know, sure, you played it in Game Pass, but you didn't support the game. Microsoft's not going to make a sequel. Unless it really pushed the amount of subscribers they got in Game Pass, they're not going to make a sequel of that game. Unless it sells well. Like, that's just the business. Unless it's driving a large boost in subscriptions or selling a lot of copies, that game is not going to get a fucking sequel. To gather up a bit of attention on a platform that's already suffering with not enough eyeballs on it, you're going to sink before you get a chance to learn to swim. At least that's what it seems like. But what do you guys think? Tell me your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a big old thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. And please keep dreaming. Oh man, I'm filming this before I ate breakfast and I'm absolutely- This confirms Griffin hates Xbox. That's right, man. I fucking hate those motherfuckers. Phil Spencer's number one in my death note, bro. General butt plug. I just have one question for you, bro. What's your gamer score? Absolutely freaking starving. Also, my chair broke last night. Look at this. I'm sitting on this freaking thing. This sucks. I gotta order a chair. Well, of course, the second I get done filming and editing this video, they released a statement saying that it is, in fact, coming to Xbox. Uh, gamers made their voices heard, and so that's great. I still don't think this game is actually going to sell. Uh, we'll see if anybody actually buys it. If it's not on Game Pass, I'm not buying it. Uh, I don't. I don't think anybody. I think this game's going to kind of flop on Xbox. But <laughs> exactly. I want everyone to complain to show proof of 100%, bro. None of those motherfuckers are going to be buying that trash. We'll see. Uh, congrats to the six Inspector Gadget fans. You guys win. Whatever this dude is. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you want to see something else, you can always click this link to see what I put up last or, you know, subscribe and see what's coming up next. Also, I promise that whatever I do, it'll try not to suck. Yeah, none of those fucking bots who are complaining about that fucking game are going to even go out and buy that shit. Anybody acting like they're going out and buying Inspector fucking Gadget is full of shit. Full of shit. Galaxy Fur with the five, Sony is literally building business relationships and are buying executives dinner and golf claims. Microsoft shows developers they're just enough. I don't even know if it's just that, man. It's just Xbox doesn't have the fucking uh, cultural clout that Sony does with PlayStation. I ignored your question. Well, I didn't ignore that chat. Uh, I sell it with the two. Imagine begging for Inspector. I know no one is actually going to buy that trash, dude. They're going to waste all that effort porting it for nothing. And weaponized schizophrenia with the two Xbox died in 2018 with the debut of Game Pass. Rip. I don't even know if it's that. It's just. It's just like. Game... They were in trouble well before Game Pass. Let's just say if Xbox did not have Game Pass right now and their current output was the same, holy fuck. <laughs> holy fuck, they would be in a terrible spot. Like, that shit would be fucking wildly bad. You got taser? Yeah. What the fuck? Stop! You stop! One. A 
man followed a 10-year-old girl through multiple aisles in Walmart and touched her inappropriately in Onalaska, Wisconsin. The man was later identified as 30-year-old Josie Aman. The girl immediately told her mother about what happened, who then confronted Josie. When she accused him, he reportedly fled the store and left the parking lot in a pickup truck. According to the report, the mother didn't witness the assault. This and a few other cases. No. I just, I said, hey, when are you available? And he's like, yeah, pretty busy. Uh, I'm not available till six today, and pretty busy all weekend. I'm like, oh, tell me when you're available. He's like, oh, Monday after two. But I'm like, where do you work? Just so I can make a note of it. He's like, uh, okay, guy. Surveillance video showed the mother chasing Josie, but there was no monitoring in the aisle where the assault allegedly occurred. A few days later, police reviewed the video and observed Josie go into the Subway store inside of Walmart. Is it just you today or do you got help? Uh, it's just me for the moment. Okay. Um, does the name Josie ring a bell? Yeah. Is, is he here? Yeah. Okay. I, like uh, I got to talk to him. Subway staff provided a receipt of the transaction, but it did not have the name for the card used. The Onalaska police had a subpoena for records served on Subway to request the video debit card information. The records received under the subpoena implicated Josie. Five Bruh. months later, police confronted Josie at his place. It took five fucking months, man. Our legal system takes fucking years. Galaxy for with the two Microsoft should just go third. They probably will go third party pretty soon. Piece of employment. Hey Josie, Officer Flatten. This is a little bit more uh, urgent for me, so I decided to just come down and talk. Ew, he her. looks like a peed. Um, I need to talk to you about an incident where you're my suspect. Okay. Do you have any idea what I'm referring to? Okay. Well, you ever been to the Onalaska Walmart? Times okay. Target. Okay. Um, in May, we got a complaint from a parent and a young girl at the Walmart in Alaska that involved you. Anything ring a bell to that? Okay. Have you ever been at the Walmart where uh, you got chased out of the store? No. No? Okay. So we've, we've got video of you getting chased out of Walmart by a, a mom. Uh, I don't know. Huh? No, I don't know. Okay, I, I do. Am I under arrest? Uh, I'd like to talk to you a little bit more, but... <clears throat> uh, you had previously... Would you agree that this is you? No? Okay. Is this your truck? Definitely not. No? Is that <laughs> No, I don't even have a topper on my truck. Okay. I just like sitting in cab. You don't think that resembles you in the slightest? No? I'm not gonna agree to that. Okay, so <clears throat> so the incident is that you reported to us that you had grabbed a, a child's buttock in a grocery aisle. I saw there with the two, that's why we need the Punisher and the Death Note. Well, I mean I could just use the Death Note and then we'd be good. No? Okay. So we reviewed video and watched the suspect of this whole thing prior to this incident with the juvenile. Was inside Subway, bought a sub sandwich. Use your debit card. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Somebody used my debit card, you said? Well, you. In a Subway? Yep, on Alaska Walmart Subway. Okay. So walked into the store, the vestibule goes in the Subway, gets some food, eats and stuff. And goes into the store. Okay. You still want to tell me you, you that shirt's a little too small, bud. No idea what I'm talking about. Maybe you know a hundred Subway sandwiches ago, it could have fucking fit. Okay. Are you the only one that would have your debit card? Or do you share with people who look a lot like you? Uh, huh? No, I don't know. No. Okay. Turn around, put your hands behind your back. Dog, do these fucking retards really think this shit's ever gonna go fucking well? Yeah, just add fucking resisting arrest to your fucking rap sheet, dipshit. Because now if you're not even convicted of the crime, they can convict you of this shit, you fucking moron. Dog, 
Dominic, you got taser? I hope he gets hit by a truck. Get on the ground. Too bad they didn't just fucking shoot him. You're under arrest for sexual assault of a minor. You have any questions? Josie? Are you injured at all? I don't know. Okay. I think I'm sick. I need help. Oh, you... he needs help. Oh, he's sick. He needs help, guys. You know, if he would have had access to therapy, it would have never happened. Like, like you're going to puke right now or something else? Something else. All right. We're going to sit you up, bud. Right. Roll over your side. Oops. This way. Let's go up on your butt. We'll stand here from the time period. You ready? One, two, three. Okay, there we go. Bruh. Dude, he looks like a fucking cave troll. Shadow Band Gang with the one month code blue cam is a W and public execution. That's right, man. Put a cap in his ass. He definitely has a fucking anime profile picture on Discord, bro. 100%. It's probably like a little lolly or some shit. Hey, you lost? No. <laughs> I was over at my school and I was like... Oh. No, There's okay. a subway yeah. right over there, yeah. too. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> Not <laughs> Talk about irony. Yeah. Too far. Okay, I was gonna say, if not, I'm gonna get a lot. It'd be good to get some air. What? It'd be good to get some air. No, I was like, <laughs> I was like, what the hell just happened? Yeah, that was pretty quick. I didn't get the run vibe from him, but. All of a sudden? Yeah. Okay. Alright, good. Thank you. That shit's weak as fuck, though, man. The thing that got him busted inside of Walmart was fucking Subway. They caught him in front of a Subway, and everybody knows who Subway is most fav or most famous fucking uh, spokesperson was, right? Jesus Christ, man. Both Subway Jared and this guy got busted because of Subway. And then he got caught in front of a Subway. <laughs> like, bruh. What is Subway's? Is there's... There's not have it... What is Subway's motto? I don't fucking... It's not have it your way. That's Burger King. I don't fucking remember what Subway is. I know, like, the $5 foot long, but eat fresh. There you go. That's why he was into 10-year-olds, man. Nasty-ass motherfuckers. 18's too uh, unfresh for him. 
Dog, what the fuck is that? I went to GameStop in all 50 states. Well, that'll be a video that'll be like an archive because those will not exist in all 50 states in the next five years. Yeah, they got sued over the $5 foot long because somebody measured it and it wasn't exactly a foot long. I think it was longer, actually. <laughs> and people fucking sued because it was too big. Like, Bruh. I'm telling you, man, we have a fucked up legal system. How the fuck can you sue Subway for, like, having a sandwich be too long? It's, like, insane, man. People are fucking stupid. Oh, my God, it's too big. The big ones hurt, guys. The big ones hurt. All Jinx's money is gone? Oh, God. All right, after this, I'm not... Let's talk. First of all, it is official. The support streak of 20 straight streams... Uh, nice schizophrenia with the two ACAB guys. He's just a poor soul. That's right, man. He just needed help. It was ended last night. I'm not surprised with the insane amount of support that came out during the Fight and Feast Marathon on Sunday. It was definitely going to be ending at some point soon. And what's funny about that is. Yeah, I with the 10. I confronted my one of a kind homie a while back. He's 19 and was sleeping with a 14 year. Oh, dude, that's gross. What the fuck? Jesus. Uh, he moved three hours away from town to not get caught. People make me sick. That's fucking nasty, man. Like, I don't understand. Like, when I was 14, I wasn't even attracted to fucking 14-year-olds. Like, I don't, I don't understand it at all for a second, man. It's just, it's pretty fucked up. Yesterday, on the main gameplay stream, which was Star Wars, it continued, and it had nothing to do with Jinx. Jinx was the person who had started this streak, was coming in with giant tips almost every stream. And I would say- Yeah, I bet Phil wishes Jinx gave him another giant tip. Maybe out of the 20 straight streams we did, probably about 17 of those streams were championed by him, uh, while there was probably three or four streams that were everyone else, and he wasn't really involved. Um, but definitely during the fight and feast, oh my freaking God, he massively supported that stream in such a huge way. He was gifting memberships. He was doing ginormous tips to get me to drink shots of tequila and everything. And, of course, that was kind of like the Hail Mary. And he got tapped out and even said yesterday, yeah, I'm not going to be contributing anymore at this point. You know, I'm tapped out. And we still hit the goal. Midnight Mallwild with the five, so they sued Subway for a bigger sandwich, but they can't sue Sony for trying to fuck their customers with a $10. Oh, they would have sued. That's why they ended up having to honor it. Like, Sony got sued for Killzone Shadowfall not running at 1080p60. Like, there was a class action lawsuit where they had to give everybody a refund on that game for false advertisement. So you can definitely sue over stuff like that. Oh, on the first stream, which is absolutely amazing. All right. But then finally last night, as we were playing Oblivion, it finally cooled down. Still had a great stream. We still had good attendance, good engagement, you know, decent support. We had good super chats, some memberships. <clears throat> but the tips finally calmed down. And uh, we did not hit any of the goals of the tips last night. That's just fucking sad, you know? Which is perfectly fine. And finally, the street came to an end. So now the good thing is, you know, thank you. Because uh, here's the thing. There's people who always want to be up in my personal business. And immediately when the streak started... I saw it with the five. I can only imagine the documentary for this guy. But the, Oh, dude, the top 10 fucking DSP moments is going to be like insanity this year. Like, it's absolutely crazy. Oh my God, where's all that money going and what's this going? First of all, it's no one's business. Absolutely no one's business whatsoever where any money goes that I make on this stream. Then quit bringing up what you need money for in particular then, Phil. If you don't want people checking in on the money they send you, stop making it their fucking business of what you need money for. Yes, I did make several hundred dollars in tips recently. I love this guy. Didn't you just make hundreds of dollars recently? Yes, and that went to bills. As I said, this is the worst financial position I've ever been in my entire life. I need as much support as possible right now in the short term to get through this next week or else I'm screwed, okay? All right? 
Yeah, dude, I could screwed. be spending it for great things. I could be spending it for frivolous things. I could be donating it to charity, or I could be fronting it to a drug ring out in Brazil. It's none of anyone's business. It doesn't matter. <laughs> and you have no right to ask drug ring would probably what anyone be the best does with any money that they make on a stream. It's none of your fucking business. So even by asking that, you're breaking the rules of the stream. And if I see people talking about that kind of crap in my chat, you will receive a permanent ban. Just so you know. It's none of your business whatsoever. Now, <clears throat> some people have already started to say things like, well, we'll Phil buy a new PC and we'll Phil do this and we'll Phil do that. All right. I'll give you a little bit of transparency as much as I can without essentially getting too personal. All right. The good news is I now have a little bit of a surplus because this has been, you know, a week and a half essentially of over the top support. By the way, on my normal streams, I would still get good support, but this is just above and beyond that. Okay. So I have a little bit of a surplus already. I can tell you, I put some of that towards monthly bills where I paid forward a little bit more on some bills, um, to kind of clear me and get me a little bit in a better position. All right, so that's number one. That, that already some of it's gone, gone to very important things. I do have a little bit of a surplus that I'm purposefully saving. Couldn't that money have been used on bills? Of course, of course it could have been. I, I would assume some of it did go get used on bills. Pot and invest with the two. Someone needs to introduce DSP to Andrew Tate. Oh, Phil would call him a moron because he's a more successful content creator than Phil is. So he would be jealous and not listen to a single fucking thing he said. If if Phil comes into contact with anyone who's more successful than him, he becomes instantly jealous and discounts anything they have to say. But when you're gifting money for a holiday, you're actually supposed to use it for the for something, you know, for the holiday, you know, unless you're explicitly telling. Like, for example, if my parents said to me, oh, we're going to give you a Christmas present. I said, you know, this year things are so bad. Please just give me some money I can use to help with my bills. That's fine. But if someone's giving you a present, you have to use it for something that's, you know, intended. You know, my parents are giving, giving my wife uh, a birthday present. My wife is supposed to use it for something nice. You know, intent she, that's what she had told them is that I'm going to get an exercise machine. That way, if something happens, let's say, for example, oh, my God, there's uh, my car breaks down or a piece of equipment breaks or something goes wrong and I need some money to do something, I have it. I need that, that is money. the pitfall of having basically little to no credit is, you know, having a bankruptcy many years ago that... You know, I don't have the same abilities as everybody else. You know, I don't have just money to charge or spend on a whim, but now I'll have a little bit of extra, which is nice. It's nice to have that flexibility. This will also take a little bit of pressure off of the next several months when I'm going to start buying lots of new games and everything. It won't be really a concern that I have to invest that money back into the business because I have that flexibility. But the truth is, I don't need to be telling you this. I really going. don't. It's Again, it's literally none of anyone's business. What any content creator or streamer does with money that they've raised, it's just that people on the internet are scumbags to me. They've made so many things up about me and said so many nonsensical things about me that are complete bullshit or based, again, on a nugget of truth that they turn into an insane conspiracy with no factual substantiation that people will literally question every little baby. thing I do. Good boy. Like, for example, if today... I was going to play Zelda, and I picked up my controller, and you noticed it's a white controller. People would be like, wait a minute, what's that? He didn't have that controller before. He had a black pro controller. Why is he playing with a white controller? Where did he get it from? How much was it? Where was the money spent? You see what I mean? It's insane. These people are fucking nuts. That's not normal behavior. That's obsessive behavior in a very toxic way. And this is what I deal with every day toxic. of my life. So please understand, that's why I don't reveal more about my personal life. That's why I don't do house tours. That's why I don't do all this shit. These people are actually crazy and have latched themselves onto me in a very negative way in order to propagate that crazy conspiracy and toxicity. I wanted to protect my family members. So that's why I didn't do that. Okay? So absolutely not. I'm not telling you everything I'm doing with anything that I raised there in that, that week, week and a half of amazing support. But, um, you know, was it enough to completely change my life? No. This is a Phil, week and a half of... Are you saying that $1,500 isn't going to change your life? Oh, my God. How could he? What a horrible person. I agree. It's not going to change. Three grand is not going to change Phil's life. A little bit of extra support every day, essentially, which is nice and will help in the long term. But it's certainly not something that's, oh, my God, it blew me. But now Phil's completely good forever. No, that's yeah, not the case. Yeah, exactly. You know, just like anything, 
I'm gonna he can pay his mortgage for the month or, you know, something like that. It's just a nice little uh, bonus. Stream every day and I'm going to have goals and I'm going to hope to hit those goals. And if I don't hit them, yeah, if I don't hit them several days in a row, it hurts. It hurts to not be raising the goals that you've set for your business. You know, there's an established amount that I look to make every day or two because that's essentially what I need to do things like do the necessities, pay the bills and everything. Right. So, yeah. And it's funny because then people are like, oh, you see, so he's been so good that he doesn't need any support forever. Like, you're an asshole. Like, how do you not understand how life works, right? That's like saying you were walking down the street, you found a $100 bill, so now you don't need to get paid for the next two weeks of work when you go to work. Like, what? As of Friday and onward, I'm going to still be here Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I don't know what I'm doing yet because the bottom line is I told you guys I have no money. I literally have $0 to my name right now. Zero. <laughs> so I can't afford any games. Um, I was going to play Untitled Goose Game. Except that last night, I got the notification that I have no money. And I was like, that really sucks. You know, every money, every day, the money I get from tips, I'm transferring to my bank account. Um, so, essentially, I'm, I must be, I'm overdrawn. Um, oh, no. tell me that I have that, you know, the, the notice that you are, you know, no balance or whatever. So, I don't have money for it right now. I want to play it. It's only 15 bucks, supposedly. But the money that was given to me yesterday for it, I already had to put towards paying bills. You know, that's more important. My internet bill? So, the electric bill? It's just stupid talk. Anyway, so, the streak is done. For now. Will we ever have another streak? Perhaps. Thanks for getting it started. To everyone else who contributed in any way during this streak, thank you so very much. I hope those of you, because a ton of gifted memberships came out of this. We started in the low 500s. Oh, my God. All right, guys. I need to hop off. I need to get some sleep. So have a wonderful Wednesday, everyone. Appreciate y'all coming out. Big ups to everybody in the chat. And I will talk to y'all, I guess, later today. Have a good one, everyone. Peace.